All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we're going to be playing some Secret World Legends. This won't be our first time playing, so if you want to see how we get to where we are tonight, look at my info below. You'll see a link to my YouTube channel where I archive all my streams, not just this game, but every game I've ever played live on stream. So if you ever find yourself in the mood to see a game you played start to finish that might be a little weird, obscure, unusual, or just nostalgic, feel free to click over there, see what I got available, and throw me a subscribe if you're so inclined. But for tonight, let's get into the game. So last time we were in the City of the Sun God, we hit our level cap, level 50, hell yeah. And we had finished the main storyline, so right now we are just mopping up uh, side quests. But I'm really hoping we're going to be able to get finished with the desert tonight, and that's going to be pretty exciting. Why did you change from this to that? You know, I was actually thinking as soon as I said, uh, as soon as I said that, I'm like, why did I say that this time? That's not what I usually say, is it? Did I usually say something different? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not crazy, Zero. That's a good thing to hear. <laughs> and Elena, congratulations on that duel win right there. I did see that good way to start out the stream right there. Blood for the blood god, sun for the sun god. There's, oh man, that was that, that's a good stream title. I should have used that. Dang it, I already missed it. Have you heard of Bless Online? I have not heard of that one, but I do know there's... A couple hundred MMOs on Steam right now. Hard to find the good ones, I think. But no, I haven't heard of that one. What's the, uh, what's the big gimmick? What's the the big draw as far as you're concerned, Siamese? Pitch me on it if you don't mind. All right, so I'm not gonna buy that. I have to click here to go to log. Oh yeah, I have to click through some uh, deals to go to login rewards now. All right, get some. Uh, Oh, get some AP next time I actually do my uh, dailies. That's nice. All right, so let's check out, see where our agents are for right now. Hey, Zigcat, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. May you feel greeted. I do. May you feel greeted as well. Chain <laughs> is waiting on loot-based RPG to come out because it was made just for him. Oh, loot. All right, so... The mission required your agent to investigate the Amazon rainforest. So why were they in Mexico? And what's the deal with their submitted receipts? Who can drink that much tequila? Oh no, I think he may have failed the mission. Dang it. That's unfortunate. How about this one? Your agent expertly identified and removed the relic from the performer's possession. The affected children now recuperating. The situation has been explained as all part of the show. Well, at least she succeeded. Take that. Take that as a... Uh, Sign of what you need to be doing there, buddy. Don't slack off on me. I keep noticing something zooming around the bottom of the screen there, but I'm assuming it's not an enemy or else I'd be dead right now. So... Let's see, what do I want him to do? It's 100% right here. Chance of uh, completion. So, let's try this. Uh, the drug population exploded and a huge mass of them are on the move. Help contain the drug invasion in New England before it spreads further along the North American coastline. That's 100% chance to complete for both of them so go ahead and send Lydia after that one and the other one let's see how about this one Drogology 101 there is still much to be learned about the drug if there are to be any hope of stopping the invasion study the bizarre biology of the drug life cycle and complete a report of the findings an agent with a scientific background which should prove extremely useful in this situation I don't think he has a scientific background Eh, we'll send him in anyway. See if he can make up for his failure right there. Let's see, honestly, it looks pretty standard, but that's what I like about it. Lots of PvP and PvE. Race lock classes. Alright. Sounds interesting. So tequila is how babies are made. Well, you know, depends on where you are at the time, I suppose. Oh yeah, Black Desert Online has fantastic character creation. Absolutely. I can respect that. Alright, so we got Weapon Distillate here, and we've got Talisman Distillate. That'll be our start for today. And then let's check the map and see where we want to go from here. Still going well, Viltrican? Good to hear. Let's see, where am I? Where's the missions at? There are no missions near me, although... It says there's a unique back here. 
Why don't I miss a unique over here? Have you finished your run of Vampire the Masquerade? I have not, Zigcat. I'll be picking that up tomorrow. But I only stream every other Thursday. So when I do stream on Thursdays, um, I usually do something a little different, uh, which uh, in the recent months has been uh, I play MMOs. So this is just a, uh, as I call it, bonus MMO Thursday. But uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be back on Vampire. We'll be playing Vampire for the rest of the week as well. And uh, I t we may be finishing it this week. I'm not really sure. If not, we'll be picking it up next week. But uh, I don't know. It kind of feels like we're starting to push towards something. Something big. Something altering. Something storyline uh, shaking. So we'll see. Can I climb this? No, I cannot. Let's see. Go find the secrets. I am waiting for you to show me a whole new world. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Alright, so I see why I didn't find that guy before, because he is actually up on the cliffside, and I'm not sure if I know a good way to get up there. So, we're going to head around this way and see if I can find a way up and work over to him, and then we'll find out what to do from there. It is a big game, certainly, and that's why it's in my uh, big game slot. I try and play a big game about once every other month, and things got kind of messed up this time due to a vacation. And due to a uh, due to some a lot of overtime at work, but yes, Broken Crow, that is a uh, shotgun. My character build is running with dual pistols and a shotgun, which uh, is a bit of a strange build for a fantasy game. I know, but this is a bit of a strange game overall. So I'm liking it a lot. But yeah, there are more traditional weapons in here. There is, uh, you can play a pure mage in here that's just, uh, throwing around fireballs and whatnot, if you so choose. Uh, this is just the build I decided to start the game with. See that jump pad over there? Alright, this isn't where I expected it to send me. What is the point of being up here? There. I wonder if there's an achievement for doing something up here. Either way, I don't see any lore nodes or anything. I don't know. I'm not sure you can get anywhere from up here, but I'm, I'm going to explore a little. Oh, no, nope, I fell. Now I can just jump right back up to this part, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. Well, I'll be showing you plenty more tonight, Broken Crow, so if uh, it seems like your cup of tea, that could be a thing there. What have we got there? 12 point courier! It's our anniversary. Assume the position. The thankfulness position? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Welcome in, 12 point courier, and thank you so much for the two month sub. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Really appreciate the support, though. That is really cool of you. Oh my goodness. You've been the very first player to ever find that jump pad. Really? <laughs> I feel so honored. Should I give a speech? Is that the appropriate etiquette for finding a jump pad for the first time? How do I deal with this? <laughs> this is too much. Doing well? I am doing well as well, 12 point. Thank you for asking. It has been a pretty laid back week. Just been uh, playing some games, enjoying myself. Weather's been kind of crap, but that's okay. Tomorrow I got board game night. Got some friends coming over to play some board games. Should hopefully be fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I've had a pretty open week this week, so hopefully I'll find some more fun stuff to do. Plus, like I said, we're, we're coming up on some really interesting stuff in Vampire, so I'm eager to see where all of that leads as well. Hope you folks are too. And as somebody linked in chat, once we're finished with Vampire, our next game will be the 2013 version of Shadow Warrior. Um, just to give you a preview, if you don't know anything about it, when I was testing Shadow Warrior out to see if I wanted to stream it, I actually considered not streaming it for the only purpose that I didn't want to wait and I wanted to play it immediately. <laughs> so that should tell you a little bit about that game right there. And I'm eager to be uh, playing it on stream, I'm eager to be playing it, period, right there. Hey, Lulu, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Hope things are going well with you. Yeah, I mean, it's an MMO. So I'm not really surprised, Broken Crow. 
You know, it seems like any multiplayer game on Steam is eventually going to get dragged in the, uh, in the Steam ratings by people angry about this or angry about that. Since they do get frequent changes, eventually somebody's going to get salty about something. I don't know, I think the, the changes that have been made to the game over the years have been very positive, including a complete overhaul of the combat system for the Legends version of the game, which I think is really positive. Oh, another dead scarab. I keep finding these all over the place. I keep saying, maybe if you find more, you'll be able to find out why, but I haven't yet. That's all I know. I don't know if that's part of a quest I haven't picked up, or that's some sort of side quest, or maybe an achievement thing. No idea. Alright, there's a... There is a unique enemy over here, so I have to check that out as well. Don't point, it snowed six inches here last night. Can spring start yet? Amen to that. I was just mentioning earlier in the stream that uh, it rained and then froze here the other day, which I was not a fan of at all. And some... I'm, I'm looking forward to some warmer temperatures. I don't like summer so much. I prefer spring and fall, but still, we need something warmer going on here. This is just terrible. Oh, oh there's the unique guy. Let's go kick his ass. Hey, buddy. I have ult. Oh, that's a big... Oh, no! I hit the jump pad! No, 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 no! There was a, there was a jump pad over there. Son of a... Why is there a jump pad in the middle of a combat area? Oh, we're going back over there. I'm going to kick this guy's ass. <laughs> Akimbo revolvers, how cool is that? And that guy I was fighting is a Jin. They are, uh, corrupted Jin are one of the major antagonists in the desert here. Shadow Warrior, not No One Lives Forever? I checked, I do have the, the PS2 version of the original No One Lives Forever, but I haven't played it yet, so I want to test that out first and see if I like it. But, uh, I've heard good things about it, that's why I bought it in the first place, so we'll see. We shall see. Because jumping is fun, not in the middle of a firefight for crying out loud. Right, here we go. Man, that's a big old AoE. Luckily, I got outside of it. Let's get some armor up. Oh, that's another big one. Oh, he's just throwing fire on the ground now. That's awesome. There we go. All right. So the characters I refer to in here as uniques are uh, named enemies. They drop a uh, item the first time you kill them, so that's a good thing. Normally enemies in this game do not drop items. It's a strange sort of dynamic. You typically only get items from completing quests. Right, drop that there, and let's hit the map and let's go do a quest. I was working on the way. That's the one I want right there, the airplane engine, I think. See, do I want to drop down there? Yeah, I think I do. Although I see that big bastard down there, he might give me some troubles. But let's just try this. Hopefully I'm not trapped in this canyon down here. That would be a little unpleasant. We are in desert with corrupted genies. It's true. It's true. And not one of them has even the slightest interest in granting any of my wishes. I'm a little pissed about that. They should at least be asking me about it. Seriously. Now you have a lad music stuck in your head? You're welcome. <laughs> here we go. First side quest of the night right here. That took a little while to get to. Wreckage. A stealth jet engine bearing a Rochi insignia. Oh, Rochi again. Is embedded in the muck of this stagnant oasis. The rest of the plane couldn't have made it much further. The size of the down engine suggests there should be considerable trail of wreckage. First, find and follow it to the body of the plane. Can do. So we'll set that to my active. Let's see, do I get a marker for it? Yep, over this way. Oh, there's a seat. Let's head over here and see what we can find. Depends on your wish, I suppose. If my wish is to shoot corrupted gin, then I am doing pretty good, that's true. <laughs> 
What would you wish for if you had three wishes? Well, you know, I I, I think I saw this in a comic book uh, somewhere, a comic strip, like a webcomic somewhere. And I like to read it. Oh yeah, this is definitely a crash trail right here. Is uh, somebody pointing out when Genie said, An ixnay on the wishing for no wishes. No, Genie, you literally work for me. First thing, I am wishing for 10,000 wishes. Screw yourself. <laughs> Who are you to tell me what I cannot wish for? You've got the cosmic power and you work for me again, so no. And if that doesn't work, then my first wish is that I wish you were able to grant my wish for more wishes. There we go. <laughs> Basically, clever language is what I would be trying to pull off. I'd try and pull off something big and stupid with the wording right there. Second wish, a counter for wishes. Yes, I want a heads-up display. Like, uh, like VR style on my vision. That sort of, uh, pops up whenever I use a wish so I can keep count. If it's a djinn, just wish for more djinns. I don't know if I need more djinns, because in mythology, djinns can be pretty friggin' dangerous. So, you know, getting a whole bunch of them, they might unionize violently. So, uh, you know, I, I want to keep the population down around me. I want to keep the population that could potentially be super pissed at me around, about things down to manageable sizes at least. <laughs> but, you know, you might be onto something there, Zinket. More genes would mean more wishes overall. Just risky business. How about you, chat? Feel free to let me know what your wishes would be. Hopefully something nice, something positive, something cool, something badass. See, Bob, you would wish to have the ability to shape and form anything by thought, including me. And then I'd wish to be able to time travel, and then I'd wish for immortality. Oh, just going for the nice easy stuff there, huh, Bob? <laughs> I want there to be International Brotherhood of Jins, Chapter 1042. Oh, the paperwork, Rin. The paperwork would be a nightmare. <laughs> Did you file this form in triplicate and in four dimensions? <laughs> Was it inscribed with all six of the local deities that have power over this domain? No! No, no, I'm sorry. You need a notary public that has to be at least, at least immortal in three dimensions. Come on. Procedures, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So find and kill the ghoul chieftain, it says. Oh, hello. Chieftain Ong. Is I think how it's pronounced. Chieftain Ong. Right, let's get to kill him then. Hey, buddy. What's up? I think I changed my build right after the stream last time I played this. I can't remember exactly what I changed. But so far I'm happy with my damage, so I'm going to assume I did something smart. Not something I can assume all that often, but it seems to be working out pretty good, well so far. Alright, he is dead. Go ahead and turn that one in. Given the Orochi group's apparent love of Gresham uh, classics, they appear should have seen this one coming. Those who fly too close to the black sun risk melting their wings. Wow, is that literally what they did? That's hilarious. Putting dramatic irony aside, this is an undeniable indication the group has lost control. Assuming they ever had control, which I'm beginning to doubt. The situation has had, has had longer to escalate than Solomon Island, but has been far more violent from the outset. And yet, it's hard to believe they came to this place totally oblivious of what awaited them. It's a learning experience for them all. And what I'm learning is, don't trust Orochi. They're dumbasses and very, very dangerous dumbasses. That's what I'm getting out of this situation anyway. Oh, right. Have you noticed, though, that in Vampire, everything is somewhat against uh, convention? Ghouls are all attractive humans rather than gray, withered, undead. I did definitely notice that. <laughs> Although I like that the first uh, ghoul you meet is a, uh, a dumbass, thick-necked dude bro. <laughs> that one in Santa Monica, that's pretty hysterical. So, so basically, you're looking to be a deity there, Bob. Is that what you're shooting for? Goodness. And your antivirus just installed it. You installed it off Steam. I'm playing the Steam version too, so I can... Uh, what antivirus are you running? As an IT guy, you've got my curious now. 
Ooh, we might be able to get our wrist talisman up to level 20. There we go. So let's go ahead and assemble that. All right, so that's max level, which means we can go to fusion right now and get a blue out of this. Hell yes. And that means officially we are running with all blue equipment in every slot. That's awesome. That is a good way to start the stream right there. Alright, so... What do I want to use that on is the question. The talisman distillate? Only 300 cc, so let's throw it into this, I guess. Oh, that's fusion. No, I don't want to be in fusion. We want to go back to empowerment. Toss it in there. That'll get up to level 23. Excellent. Use an AVG? Alright, I highly recommend a Vast. It's what I've been using for a very long time. Although, I should mention to people out there, if, uh, if you... You know, if you aren't sure what kind of antivirus to use and... And this is important. And also, you don't do dumb, shifty stuff online, like downloading wares. Then, uh, actually, Windows anti Windows Defender is pretty good, as long as you don't manually shut it off. Also, don't manually shut off Windows Defender. It's, it's trying to help you. Alright, we've still got a, uh, glyph I need to put somewhere. So, where's a, uh, here we go, level 16 glyph. Let's throw it in there. Deal, a little bit of XP for that. Also, let me go ahead and throw the weapon distillate on my spare shotgun. Which will get it four levels. Hell yes. And that's one of my dailies complete just for doing all that uh, leveling up right there. I like that. Where to next? Let's go east. I think east looks good. We can get out of this canyon, I mean. Maybe. Maybe through uh, this structure right here. It's possible. <laughs> I can become Lycan from the interwebs? Yes! Just download lycanbite.exe. Rub, rub, uh, rub a little ointment on your neck. Make sure it doesn't get infected. Run it. Um, once the bleeding stops in uh, two to three days... Once over the next time the moon goes full. <laughs> Eight technology grand. Alright, yeah, I should be able to cut through here then. To get to the next place I was looking for. But let's actually do cut through here. I don't want to hang around in here. It looks crazy dangerous. Yeah, lycanthropy is an infection, that's true. So your antivirus will probably try to quarantine it, so you'll probably have to disable it for a little while. Man, I am ridiculous tonight, am I not? <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. I have no idea. Neosporin for the win! Alright, where was I headed then? Alright, we're gonna head up north from here. Is that actually in the canyon? I don't think it is. How do I get up there? Let's head around to the other side, see if we can find a way to get to it from over the rocks. But that's the one I want to get to next. Silly people in the stream equals silly stream. You're probably onto something there, Broken Curl. I think you might have the gist of it there. I am pretty silly most times, though, but uh, sometimes. Sometimes I just get extra silly. Don't know why. Take all of these guys out. My lovely bouncing bullets. Nice! See you in hell. Alright, so I wasn't planning to do the Shrine of Aten, but I noticed that's actually pretty close. Let me see if I can find that one instead. Seems like a way more relaxed play in this game. Well, I do have close to 100 hours logged, so I'm getting pretty, uh, getting pretty accustomed to it. Plus, it seems like often I've got uh, some time Hello, there's three quests here. Also, there's a lair right there. Let's not fuck with that. Alright, lair should be over the rock, so I shouldn't be able to wander into it accidentally, at least. That's good. 
All right, the Citadel of Pain. What? Oh shit, is this... Is this going into the lair? Because if it is, I really don't want to go into the lair. I can't tell is the problem. We're going to try accepting this, and if this turns out to be super dangerous, I'll have to see if there's any way I can sleep it, because I know, I think there's a way to get rid of quests you don't want to. Hey, LTG, welcome in. How are you doing this evening, my friend? No, that definitely goes into the lair. Yeah, we do not want that one. Hell no. Uh, for those that don't know, lairs in the game are... Uh, the end game areas, the very end game areas, and even as a guy that's hit the level cap, I'm not remotely ready for them yet. Super duper freaking dangerous. I got Kenku. Those were yeah, those are the uh, the like crow humanoids, right? I'm a little rusty on my D and D races, I will admit, but I think that's the one you're thinking of there. So where is this one? Should be ah, on the other side here. I might be able to get to that. That should be getting real close to it here, but I don't see it yet. Where is it? Oh, so they can replicate sounds. That's kind of spooky. There we go. The symbol of Aten. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I can see I need to kick your ass before I get into this quest. That's fine. I got time. Take out that thing as well. All right. The Otanists have flocked to this ancient site, desecrating the surroundings with idols and symbols of the Black Sun. Their unholy cries bespeak a terrible swell in the intensity of their worship. Here one, a congregation is beginning to fill the sun-soaked ruins of the temple. They are converging for some black mass. A sacrifice or a summoning. I know more about the gathering. That I can do. That we can go ahead and jump on. So, I'll go ahead and set that active. Ancient deities stole their voices and they collected seek- Oh yeah, I remember those guys. That is a cool bit of lore behind the race right there. I like that a lot. Hey dudes, no altars, no summonings, no rituals, don't approve of any of these things. Gonna have to shut you guys down, sorry. Oh, hello. Is this a unique, oh shit, this is unique. Where did he come from? Oh, but I beat him though. But he's making a run for it. Oh good, it was part of the quest at least, that's good. Hey dudes. Hey there, Tomlinson. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, I can also just click it on the side. That I did not know. Learn new things all the time, I suppose. Thank you for that. I oh, wanted to make sure you couldn't share the secret. See, that is such cool lore. I like that. Hell, Shane. He came from hell. That's probably true. We do actually have a portal to hell hanging around in this area, so that's very possible. There we go. Hey, buddy. Round two? We doing round two? Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to go well for you, but, you know, you're welcome to try. Oh, he tried to uh, root me to the spot, but unfortunately for him, I've got a artifact that clears roots, so I don't care. There's a blue match. Those guys go down quick. Excellent. I'm going to lurk mode, gonna clean the kitchen. Alright, enjoy your lurk. Good luck cleaning that kitchen. Thank you for stopping by as always. And hopefully I will see you around. I'm gonna see if I can aggro all of these guys. Make best use of my AoEs. Oh, and he's back for round three now. The guy does not get the point, does he? No, he really does not appear to. Keep driving him off though. 
Just keep kicking ass all over the pyramid. Or all over the ruin, I suppose this isn't the pyramid proper. Get back here, you bastard. Don't want to aggro all these folks if I don't have to. That's a bit too many, but in this group we can certainly take out right away. I don't know where that guy's going though. Sort of ran off on his own. All right. And is this the big final battle? One wonders. I oh, dang it! Reloaded my uh, shotgun with the wrong shells. It happens, but it's unfortunate. Oh shoot, I wandered right into that group I was trying not to aggro. Naturally. Ow. It was pretty tough with that uh, armor he threw up. That was the yellow part on his health bar. But we're good. He's toast. Get somewhere semi-safe and we'll turn that one in as well. Alright, nothing special for that one. Just sort away all of the goodies, do a little bit of upgrading, and on to the next one, making good progress so far here. Good start to the night. Start by upgrading the cliff here. Deal. And then my ring. Get half a level. Critical empowerment results. Ooh, wow, even a crit empowerment doesn't get me that much. Still, I'll take whatever I can get. It was nice as, nice as the screen shook right as soon as I get that crit there. That actually looked pretty cool. There we go. Alright. Back up to item power 111. Not half bad. Where to next? Shade is winning? I'd like to think so. Occasionally. Every once in a while. Looks like that one hasn't been done yet. Let's head south and grab that one, I think. Just do it. So this is south. All right. Doing zone completions? Yeah, Tomlinson. I already finished all the main storyline for here, but before I leave, I want to try and do at least the majority of the side quests. And then we will uh, head on. I'm playing it blind, so I've never seen any of this stuff. And I love the little bits of lore that come with doing storylines uh, that do with uh, side quests. I love the extra character interactions, so this is all stuff I definitely want to check out. I'm really enjoying it. And this is a unique, but it looks like one I've already killed before. I probably didn't need to aggro him, but you know me, I can't resist sometimes. It doesn't look like this is going to take long anyway. It is not. As I just slowly back outside of his radius there. Doing everything is worth it for sure? I'm really liking everything. Like, there haven't been too many side quests that I just didn't care for in the game. So overall, just loving doing all the content that I can find in here. Yeah, I'm at level cap, so I'm definitely not seeing big gains for uh, from XP or anything anymore. But still, having a lot of fun, definitely. How far are you in here, Tomlinson? Have you actually uh, completed all the uh, story stuff up through the uh, the new South Africa content? Or are you still working your way through as well? I don't recall. I think I asked you that before, but I am uh, rather forgetful as it turns out. All them are toast. Gonna regenerate. Take these folks out. Just taking out cursed villagers is just fun. There we go. Just got your second character to 50. Very nice. Means through everything IP 700 ish. Damn! Very nice. Let me ask you something, Tomlinson, if you don't mind my asking. Do you enjoy the uh, PvP stuff in here? I haven't tried any of that, but I've been kind of curious, especially now that I hit level cap. I usually don't care for PvP in uh, games like this. But, you know, more content's more content. And I know there's a bunch of Chibos you can only get through uh, PvP. So I'm, I'm getting curious, certainly. Wouldn't bother just yet. Oh, they're still working on some new PvP content. Or is it a, like a full rework that they're working on? 
I'm not 100% sure. This one's tough. Guardian of the Voice. There we go. And there is a side quest over here I haven't touched. Ah, right, there, there was a bunch of, uh... There was a bunch of story, uh... PvP content that was removed, I remember now. Or removed so it could be reworked, that was it, right? Huh, actually got a... A player over here. Well, congratulations, player, you're in luck. You've got some help today. Very rare that I actually see a player in the midst of a storyline in this game, so I'm like, well, may as well jump in. Kind of wanted this guy dead either way. And this guy was a real bastard, too, so might be nice to help the player out a bit. Familiar problem. An impish torso lies at the edge of a cryptic gathering. Features known as familiars have long served masters of the magical arts. But if the cultists have learned to animate and manipulate them, it will only swell the dark tides of their worship. The pale pig's skin appears to be fresh. The cultist's capacity to animate familiars may only be very recent. That'd be a good thing. Let's jump on that. Let's see where that's going to take us. Investigate the source of the familiars over this way. Can't do. Although the enemies are already respawning in this area. Let's see if I can whittle them down a little bit. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Damn, that is a lot of enemies. Let's see, because so many weapon ability things got reworked. All right, yeah, that makes sense. I, I suppose that's uh, probably a lot better than just throwing in uh, PvP half-cocked. But I can appreciate that. I need to blow my nose. Give me just a second, folks. Sorry, that was bothering the hell out of me for a minute there. But yeah, I've heard... I, I know it's on the roadmap. I don't remember where they put uh, new PvP content on the roadmap. Uh, but I know that is something they mentioned they're working on and they've got planned out. So, uh, yeah, I guess once they finish that, I'll check it out then. I'm okay with waiting a bit. I'm certainly in no hurry. Alright, these look like familiars over here. Destroy the binding rods. That looks like that thing right in the middle of them, but uh, we have to get our hands dirty to get to them. Oh, hey, there's a lore note up on that wall. I'm going to have to remember that, too. But before that, kick some cultist ass, which is okay. I'm good at that. And another binding rod over there. Let's head me for that. All right, fair enough, and and honestly, I'd prefer that they uh, put it lower priority than story and expansion stuff, because that's my favorite thing in the game. Whereas PV, PvP, for me at least, would just be more of a curiosity than anything else. Just something to poke my head in and go, oh, that's interesting, and, you know, play for an hour and then never again. All right, so this other player destroyed one of the binding rods, so now i got to wait for one of them to respawn before I can go take that one out. So I'll go take this guy out while I'm waiting. Of course, he's got a friggin' gun, which I am not cool with. Let's see if I can use him to reload my shotgun then. That'd be nice. Uh, no healing rounds. Lame. There we go. I don't see one respawning just yet. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe while I'm waiting, I can try for that lore node. Looks like it'll take a little time to go up there. Well, I'm not a fan of PvP either. I can understand that. I can. Ooh, I don't think over here is the way to get up there. I bet there's another way to get up that wall over there. Because there's no way in hell I can make that jump. I bet that's supposed to tantalize, though. I'm assuming. That's another binding rod right there, though. So let's go ahead and take that out. And that should complete at least this leg of the quest. Kill the master of the familiars. Is that guy that guy already beat up over here? Might be. 
Yeah, this never really seemed like a really PvP heavy MMO to me. And, you know, those do exist out there, certainly, if you, those, that's what you want. Oh yeah, but this game by far has the best storyline I've ever seen in an MMO, by a lot. Oh, god damn it, she just killed the boss. I have to wait for him to res. Oh well, more soda for me. Let's see, what am I saving up for my skills today? Um. Alright, so I need 20 AP to get the next thing I want there. And then, I know there was something I wanted to get in here. I think I wanted to get some of the fortifying abilities in here. Possibly, but I definitely want some more shotgun passives. Pistol passives I'm looking really good on. So yeah, we may as well pick up a few more of those. I can't remember what I wanted to go, but I think it was in this tier, so I just need to get three more SP and we're good there as well. He's the dudes I need to kill. Oh yeah, this third guy back there. The Puppet Master. Here we go. Take him out. Oh, he's really tough. Holy crap. That's a scary looking AoE. No, thank you. Ran out of pistol energy right when I got a blue match. Lame. And he's down. Alright, now we just have to go turn in the quest and we are good. Hey Samus Aran, welcome in. How are you doing tonight, my friend? Hope the week has been treating you well. We are just doing some side quests in here in preparation, gearing up for the next area. And it is going very well this evening, let me tell you. Alright, there we go. Quest complete. I'm feeling like we probably are going to get to the next area, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, having a rough week, Samus? If so, I am sorry to hear that. But the weekend is coming up, and hopefully there are, uh... Nice surprises awaiting you on the weekend. You never know. You never know. All right, do a spot upgrading while we're here. A little bit of that. Level six. Hell yes. We'll do a little bit of that. Level fifteen. Critical Hell and yes. results. And lastly, we'll upgrade the glyph on this. Level 18 glyph. Hell yes. And we're going to need to find an apothecary to sell some stuff as well. I don't know if there's... Where am I on the map now? Oh, there's actually an apothecary right over here. Ask and thou shalt receive. I like it. Oh no, sorry to hear about that. That can always be frustrating. Still, plenty of fish in the sea and plenty of other games in the world. So, again, that can be a net positive because that can get you into another game that you never know might turn out to be your new favorite. Could be a good thing overall, you never know. But I hope uh, whatever game you try next ends up being something pretty exciting. Alright, doing good on cash right now as well. That's good. Alright, so there's one right here. There's one right here. One right here. Alright, so it looks like there's good concentration up here, so let me go ahead and head to this animal leap. Since I'm flush with cash, that should be something I'm able to do. And hey, I don't know about anybody else, but I will be eager to hear what you decide to choose next there, Samus. And I hope that turns out being a good game for you as well. 
What makes this game different from every other MMO? Trying to find something but different than the normal grind of a WoW clone. That's a good question there, Hijinx. Um, welcome into the stream, by the way. The big gimmick that they advertise for this game is it's heavily story-based. Um, so a lot of it feels kind of like a single-player game. There's lots of cinematics, lots of fully voiced characters, some cool lore, some cool world building. Um, the other thing I really like about this, there's uh, the combat system is very interesting, and it's hard to really give a hard to really give a short rundown on it. But uh, the cool thing is you get to every character wields two weapons at a time, and. Uh, I don't want to do that either. Ooh, maybe this wasn't the, the greatest place to go to. Let's try doing that. Head south. Uh, you guys wield two weapons at a time, and your weapons, uh, the weapons you wield, determine what skills you have. So right now I'm using dual pistols and a shotgun. And the dual pistols are a DPS weapon, and the shotgun is an off tank kind of weapon. Um, so I combine those skills to be what character I am. And you can mix and match any of the different weapons in the game, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's hard to go into all of the nuances right now, but I can answer any questions you may have, if you got any. Otherwise, just uh, take a look. Take a little watch and uh, see how it looks. Uh, see how it looks out, see how it feels for you. No, I'm definitely behind you there, uh, Samus. So like I said, it is, uh, I am sorry to hear all of that. Oh, what didn't you like about uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, if you don't mind my asking? I don't want to go in there right now. I see the unique in there, but I don't want to screw with it. Um, I couldn't tell you much about the population, because I actually play the game solo. <laughs> so I don't really know. It seems like the population is decent from looking at, uh... Steam Spy, because I did check that out the other day. But yeah, it does seem decent. I do see uh, enough players running around that uh, it's not dead, certainly. But yeah, you totally can solo this game. Uh, I think uh, some of the considerations for this game are... Uh, they, they do sort of take into account if you... Uh, some people that play it might want to play it solo, I should say that. But no, I, I just uh, just about uh, five minutes ago, hijinks, I actually ran into another player doing one of the quests that I was doing. And we uh, did a little bit of a team up right there, which was kind of fun. So yeah, there's, there's people around. Uh, but the this game uses a lot of shards, I'm told. So you don't necessarily stumble over other players all of the time. But they do have a social matchmaking system. So if you do want to play with other people, you don't need to just run into somebody else if you don't want to. You can uh, actually get match made with them. All right, so here's that unique I was looking for, the Bone Harvester. So let me go ahead and take him on right here. Oh, he is. Oh, I remember why I didn't kill this guy before. Because he's hella tough. He feels like an endgame guy. He definitely Another feels like somebody detected. I want to hit Initiated. in the end game. Right, I got a quest to kill some oddness. May as well do that while I'm in the area. All right. Hey, Machine. Thank you for that host right there. How is everything going tonight, Mr. Machine? Yeah, yeah. It seems like in every area I encounter at least a couple of uniques that I have just... Tons and tons of HP and uh, kind of scary, but I think since there is encouragement with the layers to come back to some of these areas later, that might be why. <laughs> hey there, machine! Thank you so much for the host. Going well to stopping by before you go to sleep. All right, machine. Well, I appreciate uh, handing the viewers over. And anybody that doesn't know me, my name's Shane. That's Shane's Games. I play the weird, obscure, unusual, and nostalgic. And today we're going uh, obscure with Secret World Legends, the MMO. Yeah, I was lurking you a little bit before, Machine. I saw you were playing some uh, some PUBG and some Siege. Always a pleasure to watch you doing that. Hope you had a, a good day with both of those, or one of them at least. Alright, and a little bit of goodies right there. Do a little bit of upgrading right there. 
And for anybody in my stream that hasn't heard, Machine right there is a member of the Arena stream team. And a fantastic one, somebody I enjoy watching very much, and you might as well. So... Oh, wow, I've actually got two blues, holy crap. So my belt I'm actually doing really good on. Uh, so you might, you know, if you've got the same taste as me, you might enjoy checking him out. So uh, click his name right there, give him a follow, check him out next time he's live. They just had to watch me play Potato Seed, so I'm sure they'll enjoy some quality gameplay. <laughs> Machine, don't be so down on yourself. You have a very tactical mind when it comes to a game like Siege, which is why I enjoy watching you play it, as a matter of fact. I enjoy the way you think your way through those situations. It's very cool. Same as he would have ended up here either way. I was just watching Machine play PUBG getting ready. <laughs> Oh, PUBG, sometimes you have your good days, sometimes you have your bad days, it's true. And pew, 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 etc. Man, that is a name and a half right there. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing today, my friend? Alright, we are really running short of stuff to do here. I think we may be almost out of side quests. Got this sand golem arm. I haven't done that one. Let's see if we can pop over here and do that. The energy level is very low for the last uh, day or two. Sorry to hear that, machine. Hopefully it's nothing big. I know we all have those days sometimes. Let's see, what level my character? I am at the level cap, actually, Bob. Level 50. Which I am pretty proud of was not a small accomplishment by any means that took some time but I'm happy to have pulled that off just hit uh, level 50 last stream of this as well um, so now I'm instead of just uh, getting power directly through levels what I'm instead doing is getting new skills for my weapons and trying to rank up my gear. But I'm not even really halfway through the game yet, so I've still got tons of content to play through, so that's pretty exciting. I'm a big shot in the secret world. The secret world world, as you would say. <laughs> well, I don't mean to brag, but... <laughs> no, I actually don't mean to brag. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find my way over to this next quest. I think this way will take me, although this canyon's a little bit spooky. Jog through here then. Oh yeah, I remember going through here. There's some badasses in here. Let's run through this part. Rather not screw with these guys if I can avoid it. Oh, there is a whole bunch of them though. My goodness, this is local bounty detected. Maybe not Initiated. a way I should have went. Oh, shoot. Roll out of it. Yeah, last time I went through here, I had a little helper helping me take stuff out. Now I don't. And now I'm almost dying. Holy crap. I don't know if I'm going to make it out of here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this place is super freaking dangerous. I'm sorry I went in there alone. Needed some optimism, Samus? Well, that's something I definitely try to provide here, so... Glad to hear you're feeling a little better. And like I said, I bet once you try out another game, it's going to put a smile on your face, and you're going to be feeling even better after that. This I feel strongly in my heart there. Yeah, there, Tommen. So did you like me aggroing like every guy in a 10-mile radius? Because that's definitely how that went down right there. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, let's go ahead and res here. Let's see, when you're in this zone, you really should do the chain that starts with when the world is rocking. All right, I think that's the next thing I plan to do after I finish everything else with the desert. Um, my next uh, thing is I'm going to do the uh, the winter world is rocking because I do have, I do have that one on my quest chart. Oh my god, I really don't want to screw with these guys. Oh good, good, drop down in here. That's awesome. It's just another plan that I'm doing. That is a lot of damage. There we go. Finally, some healing bullets. That is what I need. Shoot. Nope, nope. 
No, get oh, get out of the AoE. Oh, thank goodness for no fall damage. All right, so I think this is a way I can take to get where I need to go. I really don't want. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, don't make me reload. I don't want to give up my healing bullets just yet. Oh, it's a long chain. That's going to be a little scary then, but we'll see what we can do. I heard there's some puzzles in there, and I don't usually like doing the puzzle quests on stream, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. Alright, I think this might be the way I need to go. It's still pretty tough to tell, but we'll give it a shot. There's like one more side quest I want to do, and then after that we'll jump right back into, uh, we'll go for that the world is rocking side quest. Yeah, luckily no fall damage in this game. Thankfully no fall damage. Otherwise I would have been in big trouble there. Most definitely. No, shoot. I don't think I can get directly to it. Maybe through here, actually. I might get lucky. Yeah, I'll try. I'll see if I can... Is this a cave? Or a through fair? Hell, what is going on here? Aside from the fact that there's lots of baddies. Were there baddies fighting other baddies here? Is that what's going on? That's kind of cool. It definitely saves me some time because I can just AoE them all. <laughs> oh, hey, and some more. Let's grab that while I'm in the area. Oh, I forgot to get that one on top of that wall back there. Shoot. Cultists. The cult leaders themselves were also subjected to the ancient rituals. Their very identities carved out leaving only the instructions of Aten, as interpreted by his servant uh, Abdel. They gather their cultists. There is much work to be done. They are commanded to convert more and more people into Aten's slaves, to fight the Maria Uprising and the meddling secret worlders. And more importantly, to uncover all of Aten's idols and temples, and to eventually bring forth Aten's avatar, avatar on Earth, the Black Pharaoh Akhenaten, whose body rests in the temple inside the city of Aten. That is their end goal, and that is what we are trying real hard to keep from happening. Real hard, let me tell you. I'm glad he didn't want to screw with me. A lot of these guys aren't aggroing me, that's cool. I don't remember being in these caves, but I do see... Oh no, I think I did come here with, uh... What's his name? The mummy guy, actually. There's a lot of guys aggroing me, though. That's not a thing I like. Healing bullets back. Cut these numbers down a little bit. A few too many enemies in here. Yo. There we go. Alright. I think I'm doing good. Heal up a little bit. Ooh, a lot of cultists in here. There is the sand golem arm. Alright, we did come the right way at least. That's a relief. Huh, that guy was queuing up an attack called Terrible Strike, and what do you know? It was pretty terrible. <laughs> but I'm ching. Behind every golem, an arm lies broken off from the rest of its body. The monstrous limb was attached to something big, something that may still be stomping through the area. The area is infested with sand golems. The sullen trampling of these giants and the sandstorms they kicked up isn't conductive to any good work being done in the region. Alright. We should be able to look into that then. Puns! <laughs> My favorite! Alright, clear the area of sand golems. That sounds like a noble goal. I do like kicking sand golem ass. Let's go start on that then. Man, it is gonna be cool. I, I mean, if the uh, if the when the world is rocking quest tier really is long, then maybe we won't be heading to the next area today. But I'm still I'm still hoping. I'm still hopeful just because I want to see what comes next. You guys know how much I'm in love with this storyline in this game. And uh, there was a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the uh, desert area too. So 
I think things are going to be changing very soon in uh, game lore terms. For me anyway, I know anybody that's played this game before already knows what's coming. But for me, fresh and unspoiled as a newborn. And I do like that. Alright, that's two. These guys are kind of badass. Or at least they've got uh, big reserves of HP, so this takes a little while to wear them down. And I'd rather not aggro both of them at the same time there. Let's take these guys on one at a time. See if we can not stand in that guy's sandstorm attack. I think my big goal for my character is I want to really work on upping her crit chance. I think that'll be a very big deal if I can do that for her. Because I am kind of throwing down attacks constantly. A crit chance would be a big deal. Gotta head to work, Zig Ken. Alright, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you have a wonderful day at work today. And I will see you around, buddy. Alright. Dead golem number four coming right up. I really don't want to reload my shotgun right now, even though I could get to healing bullets right there. Just go ahead and uh, leave that loaded into the gun so I don't accidentally load something else. Oh, like I just did! Like I just did. <laughs> Oops. I almost had a chance to load healing bolts there, too. We'll do that next fight, then. I should be okay. About 80 Fahrenheit. Whew. That is a hot day right there. Hopefully, wherever you're working isn't going to be too toasty, either. And it's snowing up in Canada. My goodness. Weird to think about that. That it's that hot somewhere in the world where it's still very chilly elsewhere. Alright, come on, healing shells. Nope, no healing shells for me. Lame. Alright, there we go. Next, locate the source of the rumbling, which appears to be over this way. Oh, you got air conditioning. Well, hopefully you should be good then. Fingers crossed for you anyway. How aggressive are these guys? Oh, he doesn't seem eager to aggro me. That's a good thing. Saying April showers brings May flowers isn't happening this year? No, those April showers have not shown up. I don't know where those guys are, but it's just not happening. Alright, so I gotta kill this guy, then it looks like there is a boss coming my way. On once again, I load the wrong shells in my shotgun. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem for the boss. Here he is, the Shaper of Golems. Oh, he's actually building a golem right now. That's not cool. No! Stop building golems. There we go, and his golem falls to pieces. Excellent. Whew. Good to get some of them out of the area, that's for sure. And what do we got? A little of this. A little of that. Ah, just a teensy bit of upgrade fodder. Nothing too special. But every little bit helps. Get our first uh, upgrade on this new, brand new blue wrist talisman. We'll get a level on it, but we gotta start somewhere. Critical empowerment Ooh, Nice. That gets it up to a level 19 glyph on there. Alright. And I think. I think I'm feeling pretty happy about this. Oh no, we still need to get that blood-covered blade, don't we? Alright. Let's go for that one, and then I think I'm happy. Air conditioning in the store is shit, but you have your department right at the entrance, and you have two separate air conditioners that hang under the low ceiling, and yesterday you learned how to control them. UNLIMITED POWER! <laughs> to cool the air somewhat. That's pretty powerful. I'd, I'd be jealous of that power right there as a kid. <laughs> now what you need to do is you need to start selling access to it to your co-workers. 
Oh, is it too hot in your section of the store? Well, I could do something for that. For a price! A terrible price. <laughs> could be nice and profitable. A little bit of a side hustle right there. And I see another unique enemy over here. May as well want to grab them while I'm here. Evil genius? Well, hey, you know. If you're making some money while you're working, you may as well make a little bit more money while you're there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's a tough one. I'll make real sure I don't back off the edge here. That would be hella embarrassing. I'm actually going to have to let him hit me for a little bit. But I'll just keep backing up here. And he's toast. Excellent. Alright, take care, Zigcat. Thank you again for stopping by. Alright, so where is that blood-covered blade? North! It is north of me. I think we're heading in the right direction to get to it. We shall see. Ooh, these guys have glowing red eyes. How did I not notice that before? That's spooky. Not a fan. And there it is. Should be just up ahead. May as well slay my way up to it. Taking out enemies with my glorious AoE is pretty nice. Just gonna go ahead and say that there. Always a pleasure. Players is all mine, Zigcat. You are a wonderful part of the community. Always glad to see you here. Oh yeah, I've got a special... I, I'm using a special skill with my pistol so that once I shoot someone with my pistol, it will attempt to bounce to a nearby enemy. And then from there, we'll attempt to bounce to another nearby enemy. And as a matter of fact, the more enemies it hits, the more damage it does. That's why you'll often see me trying to aggro a whole bunch of dudes. It's pretty awesome. Because even though I am using a guns, this is a fantasy RPG. And so I'm literally shooting magic bullets. Mummy Massacre. A blood-soaked blade stands fast in the ground before you. A sign of the ancients who rule the sand. Kill them all. The mummies that rain these sands seem coordinated. Fight your way through these troops to find their leader. Hell yes. Sign me up for that. Alright, we're heading over this way? Or no, we're probably heading around this way, actually. Oh, back the way I came. Through all the mummies that I just gunned down, actually. Gauge the Mechromancer, Borderlands. That's a good choice right there. I haven't played too much Borderlands, but I do remember Gage is pretty fun. I was going to say, I might have to wait for some respawns, but I see a couple mummies over here so I can start on them. Shoot a wall behind you and hit the enemy in front from rebound. Yes, that is a good strat right there. Very fun strat. Alright, so it doesn't actually say how many mummies I need to kill to draw out their leader, so I'm just going to start killing all of them here. Shin wants his mummy. I want all of the mummies. <laughs> My mummy, your mummy, every mummy. It looks like I am going to have to wait just a bit for some more respawns here, though. So maybe I shouldn't have killed everybody on my way here. Which, you know, confuses me. Usually killing everybody seems like a good strat. Oh, wow. Well. Even a stopped clock is right twice a day, as they say. I'll just wait a bit and get some soda. Just seek the nearest target after rebound. Alright, oh, that's even more convenient there. Where are these dudes? Would have thought they would have started respawning by now. Hello, mummies. I seek your death. Oh well, let's go mess with this guy. That seems ill-advised. Perfect for me. Ow, that hurt a lot. Alright, so he's kind of a badass. So it's maybe not the best of plans. Get my healing bullets back at least. I'm gonna call this a net good. And finish him off with those sweet red chambers. Coffee person soda never agrees with you. That's fair. I used to not uh, be able to. I used to not really like the taste of coffee. 
But as it turns out, when you work enough night shifts, eventually you, uh, you learn. <laughs> Lurk mode deactivated. Do we have a badass in here? Oh shit, we got a badass in here. <laughs> Welcome back, Broken Crow. God damn it, these mummies are not respawning for me. That really sucks. Considering all the areas in here where enemies respawn almost instantly. Really thought we were going to get one of those in here. Well, let's see. Let's head down to ground level and we'll see if maybe there's somewhere else we can go to find some mummies to beat up. I thought maybe there was some on the ground over here. Maybe we can kill some of those. Maybe that'll count. No? No mummies down here? No mummies down here. Dang it. Alright. So we're just stuck waiting. That sucks. I don't think I've ever seen enemies that take this long to respawn. That's really strange. Well, I'll roll them a little bit. Oh, here we go. Finally, all right. Now it looks like everyone respawned here, so that's good. We'll re-kill all of these mummies. Hopefully that'll do the trick to bring out their boss. And we can be done with this quest. Come on, there we go. No boss? Well, we'll continue killing his minions then. Yeah, there's a petition to... Uh, there's always petitions. Online petitions are less than meaningless. I'll tell you that though, Jay Melman, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh, now I have to kill the big executioner, dude. All right. Before he escapes. Oh, no. I only have four minutes to beat him. Whatever shall we do? How can I ever pull off such a tight timeline? I mean, we beat him before in like 60 seconds, so I'm not too worried about it. Hit him with the proverbial and literal big guns now. As long as I don't fall off here, he's toast. Shane, you really shouldn't wipe out entire species like that. You'll be sued by the Mummy Union. Bring them on, their lawyers. I'll take out their lawyers as well. In court and then afterwards. <laughs> oh my goodness. I see. I read that J Melman. I don't. I don't believe that. That seems like a. That seems like good trolling, more than a, a real world thing. I could be wrong though. Who knows? All right, we got some loot here. Excellent. Good chunk of loot right there. Go ahead and get that applied, and then then we're off to check out the uh, the next big quest. Almost got that glyph maxed out. That'll be badass. And then the bracelet. Get that up to level two. Get that nice little number up in the corner. And lastly, one of these. Now get it up to level 16. Excellent. Power level 113. Very nice. All right. So let me just check my quests one more time. And yeah, when the world is rocking is what I want to do. So what this one is, we saw a holographic message. And the guy in the hologram looked familiar. Who did it look like? Well, it looked kind of like the Station Master from Agartha. Which is super duper weird, but... If that's who it is, that's who it is. So we're going to head back to Agartha, because we needed to head back there anyway, I suppose. And we're going to talk to the Station Master and see if he knows anything about this shenanigans. Hopefully get some answers there. Shane Cox's shotgun as the mummy layer lawyers amble towards him. <laughs> you got the start of a movie script right there, Broken Crow. My argument will be with bullets. Lots of bullets. And their rebuttal will not be heard. No, this is not the way to the gate. Oh, this is the way to hell. No, we, we don't want to go to hell. We want to go to Agartha. Hell's a bad place, as it turns out. 
Mummy subpoena. <laughs> that would be a good condition for like an MMO right there. Just have it pop up on screen. Warning, you have been handed a mummy subpoena. <laughs> you must appear in court in five minutes. Like, I think that secret passage is for a quest, so I'm not going to screw with it right now. And let's sprint to get over there. And I'll sell off a couple things while I'm in there as well. Get my cash built up a little bit. That'll only take a moment. They never have coffee or cakes or tacos or anything good in hell. They have coffee in hell. It's just really bad coffee. It's all watery and weak and never seems to wake you up. Such is the way of hell. Interior. Warehouse. 8 a.m. Shane cocks his shotgun as the mummy lawyer is able towards him. He spits out a cigar and grumbles to himself. I love the smell of decay in the morning. Smells like legal victory. <laughs> oh yeah, McDonald's coffee, that's true. Although McDonald's coffee does have the benefit of being, I believe, free. At least sometimes. So that's nice at least. And as usual, Agartha can chug in a little bit. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can stop at any of the shops in here and they'll buy my stuff. And there's Paragon activities now. I was looking at this the other day. Uh, Paragon are the, the end game activities I have access to now. But I'm not super eager to get into those, so we're going to leave those alone for the time being. Alright, that'll get us up to almost 4k, that'll be nice. I like floating a little bit there. Tim Hortons! I have never heard Tim Hortons. I have never had Tim Hortons before, but I always hear wonderful, wonderful things about it, Samus. Everybody I know that has been uh, up north over the border just tells me, Oh my god, you have to try Tim Hortons coffee. You play with time and you pay in. That's surprisingly dramatic for cheap coffee, but I kind of like it. Hey Hatsuke, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, the tiny guy near the desk? That was a tiny little golem, I believe, actually. <laughs> so I believe the station master is over here by the hubs. Here we go. Let's see what we got? The Angry Earth. Hello again. Right on time. Splendid. Something you should know. The reverberation of recent tremors emanating from Egypt have somehow slipped into our honeyed halls. Now, I realize that a few minor earthquakes might seem a touch insignificant to someone of your esoteric standing, but local geological disturbances affecting the hollow earth, well... Well, it is most irregular. Well then, that's enough lollygagging on my part. The black water rises. If one thing's done, another needs doing. Oh, I wish, I wish I had a battalion of stout porters to help lift the load. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride, eh? Right, back to it. We are fusiliers against entropy. The train will come. Don't you worry about that. It'll come eventually. Hey, Lame Wallet Chain. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Hope everything's going well with you. All right, so that one's complete, and we have another one to do after this. Oops, didn't actually turn it in there. There we go. And this is a puzzle mission. Like I said, I don't like doing puzzle missions on stream, but hopefully with your help, chat, we'll be able to muddle through. Give it a go. Alright, let's throw that on there. And throw that on there. Excellent. 
Well, the first thing it says they want us to do is head back to the desert. So let's go ahead and do that. Really good one, too. All right. We will see what we can do then. Character just stares silently. Please stop talking. I, I don't I don't care about anything you have to say. <laughs> oh, might have been. I don't think you, there are really tiny players. I'll head back over there to sell something anyway, so let's see. I guess it could have been a tiny player. Yeah, they got the Platinum Chef and the Tin Chef right there. That's adorable. And I'm just going to sell this uh, Elementalism Focus. Get a little bit of cash there. And then back to the Scorched Desert. She going. Yeah, this is the central hub for the entire game, Agartha here. So, uh, probably 80-90% of the, the characters you see running around here are actually, uh, players like that one right there and that one right there so that's kind of neat that's south africa we're not heading there yet mini harley put quinn that definitely sounds like a player all decked out then here we go here's our exit excuse me and we're heading back to the scorched desert then been a while since we've been here but we have been here before, and we got pretty much everything here. So we know what to expect, as far as the enemies and the layout, at least. That's good. This I, I feel like the Scorched Desert's a little bit easier to navigate than the City of the Sun God. With all those box canyons, can be a little difficult getting around. Which is okay as long as, like me, you're, you're managing your uh, cash well enough that you can pop through those teleporters when you feel like it. And I've been trying. For a while, I was running it on empty with my cash. But then I figured out a better way to manage it, and we're doing a little bit better now. Alright, find information about the Tremors, it says, but I don't have a quest marker. So that's interesting. I'm not sure who we need to talk to, then. I assume we need to talk to somebody, right? Oh, there we go. Read SMS from the Station Master. Is this working? Hello? Perhaps you might find some boffin in that scorched desert who has the equipment to detect geological activity. Find equipment to investigate tremors. That's something I know about. That sounds familiar. It does. Um, maybe Monty LaRoche, the scientist, he might know. Yeah, let's go say hi to old Monty. See if maybe he's got some answers for us. Uh, so I mentioned a couple times that I don't usually do puzzle quests on stream. For anybody that's new to this game, let me explain why I don't do puzzle quests on this stream. The, the puzzle quests in this game are really interesting. Uh, they require you to do a little bit of cryptography sometimes. They sometimes require you to Google things to find fake websites that the Secret World set up with in-world information on them. There is a lot of cool things, but that stuff isn't... At least for my money, it's not visually interesting. It's not fun to watch. Fun to do, not to watch. So I played around with it a little bit off stream, but I've been doing what I can to avoid them on stream. But uh, this one seems uh, pretty interesting, seems pretty in-depth, so I don't think I want to miss out on this one. So we're going to give it a shot. I don't know... I'm assuming by the fact that nothing's happened, this is not the guy I need to talk to. Do take care. It's a desert out there. That's unfortunate. Checking the tents. May as well check in the tents. If there's anything in there. Seem to remember one of the Secret World uh, Legends puzzles involved figuring out some Morse code from a sound recording. That's badass. Oh, here we go. A seismograph. It was really tough. Yeah, some of these puzzle quests are insanely difficult, but uh, still feel really interesting. 
It's interesting, I've actually seen this seismograph in the tent before, but I was never sure what it was from. Highly unusual, unnatural patterns. A coincidence? No, I don't think so, unfortunately. Next it says, read the journal, right next to it. Let's see what this is. A dating is inconclusive, as though it fell out of time. Poppycock and rot? Perhaps. And yet. We found the artifact at the old camp. Had to abandon it when the walking carrion became thick as fleas. I think they've gone, but I haven't been back. We also found a tablet with the device. I've tried to make a rough, that is to say very rough, translation. I don't think the Egyptians built this artifact, this device. I think it was ancient to them, or at least they believed it to be so. If what I've parsed together with my slapdash translation is to be believed, the device stabilized the region by absorbing seismic activity. It swallowed tremors. Fantastic. Completely. Then again, the dead have taken to walking. But even if we accept the fantastic, there are still rules. That seismic energy would be enormous. It has to go somewhere or convert into something. I wonder if that energy was later released, and how, and in what form. And if the Egyptians didn't build it, who did? Well, we know who that is, the First Worlder. The First Worlders, the ancient ancients in the secret world. I find the device mentioned in the journal. He said it was at the old camp. So let's see if I can remember where the old camp was. It has been a little bit. Um... So I think it was up here, the Oxford Dig. Well, let's try. I will mention for the purposes of this quest, consider the rules about backseating in here moot. Feel free to jump in with any suggestions you might have. Because, uh, like I said, I, I want to get through this. Wasn't it overrun? Yeah, he said it was overrun, but, you know. As it turns out... I'm pretty good at beating dudes up. Mysterious device, here we go. Quick access inventory updated. All right, got to add to my quick access. Pick up the tablet and translation, see what we got here. All right, mind the slipshod translation to be cleaned up later. This seems to be some sort of user guide to the device. Locations are referenced. The tablet dates back at least several thousand years. I wonder if the locations remain or if they have changed, Montgomery. The belching, no. Growls of the earth. We tremble. The cup, no. Vessel contains the growls. Only where the four ghosts, no. Invisible mouths open. Possibly magnetic anomalies? Are these key locations where the artifact can be used? Areas perhaps of intense magnetic activity that can power the device, enabling it to affect the seismic activity of the region. Caramel popcorn is poppycock. <laughs> is it? Several lines here I haven't worked out. Something to do with serpents twinning up to the sky, but found a possible location in the next stanza. We came to a place, the twins set unblinking, guarding the six. A sister sits to her sister's right. There at her feet, the growls of the earth. So that's the first location. We came to a place where the oasis sleeps. The vast, the sweeping, the lush oasis, defying the desert. Uh, by the still water, the rock stands, the growls of the earth. We came to a place where the symbol lay, the breath of life upon its head, the growls of the earth. Lost the narrative here, I'm afraid. Several stanzas. Something about the father of Ma'at. Also two lovers, tragic endings, a fish coming up from the dried ground, and so on. But keyed back in on another possible locations below. We came to a place where the anathema king leers. Hands groping the quivering ground upon his index finger of the right, the growls of the earth. So that's four locations, and we need to figure out what all of them are. So the twins sit unblinking, guarding the six. The sister sits to her sister's right. The oasis sleeps, the vast, sleeping, lush oasis defying the desert. Where the symbol lay, and where the anathema king leers. Alright, so the first one is the twins. The sister sits to her sister's right. All right, now I am a little rusty on this area, so that's really not going to make this easy. So once again, consider the backseating rules off, and if anyone has any suggestions, 
I am open to them, but I think... I think there's some of the six statues of the six over by the Oxford Dig. So I'm going to head around there first. <laughs> no worries, Tomlinson. I appreciate that. Hope your phone call isn't something too serious. So yeah, they've got the statues of the six over here. A sister sits to her sister's right. We'll see if we can figure out which statue is which, and then we'll go from there. Oops. And then maybe this is one of the places we need to be. Hopefully. Hopefully this is where we're looking for. It did say find the first one, so I'm assuming that the game wants us to do these in order as well. I'll go ahead and take out some ghouls while I'm here, because that's always fun. Who doesn't like ruining the days of some ghouls here? Hey there, Kev Tom. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight, my friend? it says maybe the two statues at the entrance oh he respawned fast let's take him out again and if it's a sister sits to her sister's right that seems to hint at this one maybe nothing happens though Oh, two c oh sits. They're just saying sits literally, Tomlinson. All right. See, I'm bad at word puzzles like this. That's my problem. I take everything too literally. Entrance to the north. See what I can find over here. We got some more ghouls. Alright, so none of the main statues appear to be sitting. They're all standing. Well, east of where I am, alright. Alright, I think I see what you're saying. Wait, head east then? See what we can find. Let me take these folks out, though. Hit him with an ult. I'll slow him down a bit. guessing you mean this yeah here we go the two seated lady so i was in the neighborhood and a sister sits to her sister's right so that would mean this one you no know, depending on the perspective i suppose we do have a little cave right here nothing happens here try in front of the other one then Doesn't say nothing happens, but nothing happens. Hmm. Was there something else in the clue that I have to do here? They're at her feet, so you'd think right in front of it. Could be on the pedestal, though. That might be a thing. Can I get on the pedestal is the question. That's... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, all right, so it told me right there. All right, here we go. And there's a little sparkle in the air right there, too, so that's good. And then wait for a tremor to absorb. All right, and there we go. Then replay the tremor on the seismograph at the Oxford camp. All right, I like where this is going. Oxford camp was right over here with the seismograph inside the tent by De La Roche. So let's check that out. All right, making progress. Welcome, welcome. Sorry I appreciate the help as well, welcome. Tomlinson. Very cool of you. Kev Tom, you got a Mario lamp and an R2-D2 coffee brewer. Kev Tom, if you get a chance, I would love to see pictures of those in Discord. Those both sound badass. I love nerd stuff. Long 
There's replay of the tremor. Do I just hit use the device here? Is that it? There we go. Literally just use the device to throw the tremor out there again. That's interesting. I'm gonna check the seismograph again. Interesting. Let's see what the journal has to say about that one. The device seems to work. There are still more locations hinted at in the translation of the Egyptian tablet. Find the second anomaly. All right, so let's see what our second clue is here. All right, no hurry there, Kev Tom. But that's, yeah, I hope the coffee brewer works out well for you. Let's see, we came to a place where the oasis sleeps, the vast, the sweeping, the lush oasis. By the still water, the rock stands. So we need to find a big rock by still water in an oasis. Let's check the map. What looks like an oasis here? The Forsaken Oasis? That could be it. Go ahead and animal leap over there. I think I might even see the big rock on the map. That'd be convenient. But we'll give that a shot. If I was looking at the mini-map right... Here it looks like there's a big rock right at the northern end of the Forsaken Oasis. Probably that one right there. Well, let's see, is there some place over here? We can use the device. Yes, sweet! All right, activate the device. Hell yes! That was mostly luck though. I'm just gonna admit that. Mostly luck. <laughs> Still, we got it. So now, back to the Oxford camp. Oh, the animal leaping here is going to cost me a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind it just to do, go through this one. But I hope you have been well overall, Kev Tom. Sounds like you've been doing good. You got some good merch. That's a good start, certainly. We are on tier 4, although I think tier 4 is going to get finished off once we replay that tremor and check it out. So yeah, we're making good progress through this quest. That's awesome. This quest reminds me a little bit of that uh, cool quest with the conspiracy theorist from the, uh, the Solomon Islands as well. I really loved that one. Alright. Play the tremor back. Check out the seismograph. And it's smaller than it was before. That hopefully means we're doing the trick. Non-homicidal visitors are always welcome. Alright, so... What is next? We came to a place where the symbol lay, the breath of life upon its head. Rebels of the Earth. The symbol lay, the breath of life upon its head. That one I'm not sure about. Upon its head. Statue somewhere I can think of that I might be able to see? Breath of life. Symbol of life. It's actually been like a couple months since I've been to the, uh, since I've been to the Scorched Desert, so I'm, I'm very, very much rusty here. In Egypt is what the Ankh? I think that's the symbol of life, correct? Perhaps a little bit rusty on my Egyptology. <laughs> the breath of life, symbol of life, is the Ankh. Where was there a big Ankh in here? Is the next question. Like I said, it's been it's been a couple months since I've been in the Scorched Desert. Definitely does not help with this quest. But I didn't realize it would all take place in the Scorched Desert. Otherwise, I would have done it a little earlier while this is a little fresher in my mind. Let's see an Ankh. Zoom in Middle West. Got the Hotel Wahid over there. Oh, I keep forgetting there's actually a, 
Actually, more information here than what's shown at the top. Free Nerf gun? What kind of Nerf gun did you get, Kev Tom? Something cool? Oh, right there! The Ankh! Right, the Ankh is the dungeon in this area. God damn it, I completely forgot about that. Literally just called the Ankh on the map. <laughs> well, now I feel silly. That's okay, let's... That one, I don't see any good teleport points near, unfortunately. Unless there's one right there. There is an animal leap right there, so we'll go ahead and leap there. That'll save me some time. Thank you for that again, Tomlinson. I really appreciate the help here. I feel completely lost in this area. I did find that second one okay, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, what's the quickest route to get where I'm going here? I think down this way? I think so. Oh, jeez. I love me some Nerf guns. Very cool to toys right there. Are we going the right way? I've still got a couple of my old Nerf guns from when I was a kid. Love those things so much. My favorite was the one of the best Nerf guns for my money, with one of the most terrible names for my money. The Nerf Ballzooka. Shot big yellow balls. In a big, uh... Look like a rocket launcher type thing, which is just super badass. The long shot CS6. I know that one, Kev Tom. That's a good one. All right, so we've gotten to the Ankh here. And what was the rest of the clue then? The rest of the clue was the breath of life upon its top or head. I think he might have been right about the top the first time. Then he messed up the translation. So, that would mean up over here, I think. This should be the top of the Ankh. And here we are. Damn, the nearby journal. What is this? Entry number blank. What day is it? The screaming has stopped. The day's experiments concluded. It is the quiet hour of sleep. I do not sleep anymore. With no haste, I await them. This was never a temple. This is always a laboratory. When I was a child, when I studied the crude animal matter with wide eyes, I was homesick for the place I had never been. This, this is it. This is mine home. Cleaning the scalpels, bone saw, rib cutters, and enter no. Enterotome. The procedure was long. The subject lasted a Herculean span of time. Despite all my efforts, I could not find physical evidence of a soul. I feel as though I had visitors last night. Did I die? This is hella creepy. This seems like one of the scientists that got infected with filth right here. <laughs> oh, Zero, thank you for digging up a picture of that. I appreciate that. Let's see. The ages spin in a circle and then reset, Ja? Yes. The game, the game board dashed and then set up again, all before the mouth clamps down on it. But how does one hold on to individuality? How does one's ego and identity survive the transition? I become the memory of those that dream. I give up my individuality so that I might keep it. The filth is memory. Beautiful, dark, and deep. Tremors again, yeah. My, it's my tremors. I will collect the data. They coincide with increased activity in the magnetic anomaly I found in the Ankh. Interesting. My tremors have returned. The vibrations travel from dimensions of space that are known to disp dimensions of space unknown. Lovely. Or is it frightening? Lovely. And what does the lamprey say to the test subject? He says, I adore you. I adore you with teeth. On a personal note, there are specimens crawling out of me. I bottle a few up, but the others got away. So many legs, no words. Tremors again. Yamin tremors. I will collect the data. They coincide with increased activity in the magnetic anomaly I found just outside the Ankh. Interesting. I will venture outside. How long has it been? Still awaiting another tremor outside. My equipment is ready. Other ideas occur to me, unrelated. I will voice record them while I wait. Mine tremors have returned. The vibrations travel from dimensions of space that are known to dimensions unknown. Lovely. Or is it frightening? Lovely. I must go back below with these readings at once. So he started repeating himself there. That was a little weird. Oh, he used one of those, Samus. Nice. Yeah, I, I almost lost a whole bunch of those. Yeah, no, this is horrifying, Rin. Uh, this, this line in particular creeped me out. And what does the lamprey say to the test subject? He says, I adore you, I adore with teeth. What the hell? <laughs> hey, Bold Dark Legend, thank you for the host right there. How are you doing tonight, Bold? 
welcome in. It says examine the tape recorder. Let's check that out too, although this is probably going to be extra creepy. Old Raid? A breakthrough in thought. What we were calling the ages is not, strictly speaking, a measure of time. At least, not in a chronologically stacked order. Time bends. It snaps back like a rubber band to a fixed point. The end of each age was a reset, a, a do-over. We are on repeat with variation as artifacts from the previous age bleed into the next, sending out ripples. Each new age compounds with more artifacts and more affected than the last, skewing the original pattern. There is something that is supposed to happen, but the inevitable is always delayed. How many times has this world reset? How do we reach endgame? I'm doing great today, Bold. Thank you so much for asking. What were you playing today, and how was it going for you? I'm doing good as well, Smile Code. This is the remake of the game, or the remaster, I should say. It's still the same game, they just changed some systems around. I'm enjoying, and it made it free to play. I'm enjoying it very much. It says find more of his research. Let's look around here. See what else there is. Is that guy gonna aggro me while I'm here? No, good. Let's see if maybe he's got some more research on this laptop right here. Oh, the new Ratchet and Clank, I assume. You're liking it so far? Now, I should ask too, Bold, if you don't mind me asking, do you have any uh, experience with the original Ratchet and Clank, or are you coming into the series fresh there? Let's see, I don't remember if this is a laptop I've seen before, or if this is even uh, related to what I'm looking for. I have no idea. Uh, let's see, those are the test results. Check out log one. Client agrees, yeah, that's who we're looking for. Client agrees we are approaching breakthrough. Supply of experimental subjects exhausted. Propose mandatory participation from our security detail. Oh good, mandatory human experimentation. Says he went back below. I don't want to go into the Ankh though. Do I actually have to go into the dungeon? That sounds terrible. Oh yeah, I do have a marker to go into the dungeon, don't I? Let's see, uh, log two. Check that out. Coming in fresh, excellent, bold dark. I think that should be even more enjoyable then. Hopefully you continue to like it. Not the dungeon dungeon then, all right. See, Dr. Banway attempted to leave the base via helicopter upon discovering his condition. Rapid meta uh, metastasis prevented him from doing so. Dr. Liev is inexplicably drawn to the LFEs generated by communication towers, continuing to study his reaction. Uh, Dr. Liezik underwent rampant mutation following failed attempt to reduce fight or flight reaction. It escaped to the north. Creepy. So yeah, I do have a marker right over there, so let's see where that takes me. Chain is completely lost? When am I not, Zero? <laughs> I'm easily confused by things. It's true. I guess. Oh yeah, I guess this isn't the dungeon proper, because it didn't uh, make me group up or anything. Still, place is pretty dangerous. Oh, there's another recorder there, so I guess this is where we're headed to. But either way, any of Bulldark viewers that don't know me, my name is Shane, that's Shane is Games. I play the weird, obscure, unusual, and nostalgic. And today we're going obscure with the Secret World Legends MMO. So I hope you will enjoy and join me for this today. LFG, I'm going solo, LTG. Although, while I'm thinking about it, I have 10 SP. Let me go ahead and spend that. On um, what was I going for? Stand firm, I think? No. I was going up this tree, so let's go ahead and get, uh... Buy an extra hit rating. Good deal. And then for Hurt Me More, I need to get another 10 SP, so that'll come in time. 
All right, so let's check out this recorder and see what other creepy things Klein has to say here. PS02, that's the, the, the recent one, the one that hasn't been ported outside of Japan. Am I correct, LTG? What made you want to get into that one? The voice of Klein. Dr. Klein's research lingers like a ghost. His voice traps in the purgatory of audio recordings. How many of these recordings did he make? Alright, so I assume I have to do this one now. As a uh, little side quest. Let's go ahead and switch over to that then. Pick up the recorder. Because I played uh, PSO2 for GameCube back in the day. I was kind of low-key obsessed with that game back in the day too. <laughs> so I assume you're talking about the new one. 50 gig install though, that one stings. Sorry to hear about that. It is, thankfully, it has a pretty extensive English patch. Fan patch or what? That's still good to hear either way. All right, pick up the recording as well. That'll be handy. Quick access inventory updated. Right, play the first recording. My cannibalistic ex-colleagues are a crude experiment. They are an axe when I need a scalpel. It is time to refine my work. It is time to risk myself in the pursuit of knowledge. Tonight, I will take my first microdose of the field. And here's where it starts. Doses on such a small scale should allow my body to adjust to the changes without suffering the more severe side effects. Spoiler effect didn't work. <laughs> All right, so let's play the next recording. I don't seem to have another recording in my inventory, so I wonder if that means I have to find more recordings now. Doesn't actually mention anything on there, and I don't actually have a mini map here. I want to try looking around a little bit and see if I can find some more recordings. Oh, they are throughout the level? Alright. We'll explore around here a little bit. Probably gonna be small, so this isn't gonna be easy. Wow, is that that thing is actually damaging me? Wow, that thing is killing me, is actually what I meant to say. Zero tried to play Monster Hunter Online in Chinese with an English patch and installed a bunch of bloatware. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Zero. Gotta be careful of those, uh, that, uh, that fan software sometimes. You never know what you're gonna get. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, so I'm gonna explore around here a little bit. I can go way down there, but we'll see. I suppose for right now we'll just head in a linear pattern. Hopefully I'll be able to spot these things as they come. Avoid that thing so it doesn't suck the life out of me this time. Oh, the official client is filled! Well, that's terrible. Sorry to hear that, Zero. That looks super dangerous. Oh, and it's coming this way. Oh, and it killed me. <laughs> I don't know that this dungeon is going to do well for me. Oh, I've actually got to use the command somewhere down here? Oh, I, be I bet I have to use it to absorb the thing, don't I? That would make sense. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, I was standing right next to the second recorder as well. All right. Take a look around here. I'm getting murdered over here. Holy crap. Let's walk towards the scary, dangerous things and poke it with a stick. That's my philosophy, basically. Here it is. Wow, these are well hidden. This is going to be tough. Quick access inventory updated. This is going to be really tough. Curious. I was 42 minutes into the autopsy of my former lab assistant when he woke up screaming. Cripes. The filth has remarkable properties. Remarkable, he says. Terrifying, I say. I'll wait for this thing to pass this time. 
are you going to try setting up a server of your own, LTG? Well, good luck with that. Alright, so, it's unfortunately it's tagged as a uh, ally, so I don't think I can. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can uh, set that device down here. Will it do something to that horrible thing that wants to murder me? Maybe? Oh, it just disappeared off the ground. Shoot, so it doesn't last long. Yes! All right, and it did eat that giant wave of energy, so that's good. Whew. All right, starting to very slowly get in the hang of things here. Let's explore around. Oh, hey, lore note I didn't find before. Good deal. The Call of the Nameless. Oh, right. No chance to miss me. He's everywhere. Right, there's a laptop. I need to hack this? Let's see. Dr. Klein's log. Oh, he's got lots of log files in here. The creatures obey me. I took the staff from the fused dead hands of the high priest. It thrums with whispers that reverberate up my ocular nerve and into my brain. There is a cadence, I think. These creatures hear it too. They hear how the staff demands obeisance towards the one that holds it. The Ankh is a symbol of rebirth. We shall all be reborn in a fashion. Through the evolution of the filth. The Atnas saw it as a baptism, a renewal. Primitive but apt. Otten is merely a mask of superstition, but the dimensional parasites that wriggle behind the mask are quite real. Rather than the all-or-nothing dive into divinity, my approach is more nuanced, for I must have mine intelligence in the next stage. And so the microdosing. My baptism comes in tiny sips. My divinity is by degrees. The process is working. My sanity stays intact even as I change. In fact, it evolves into a new super sanity, he says, not understanding. He's clearly going nuts here. Lore, sweet, sweet lore. Ooh, new chocolate. What kind of chocolate you got there, LTG? These bees, these Gaia imbued, they do not realize, I think, that, that they are or they are horrified by the changes uh, wrought on us by the zero point pathogen. That's what they're calling the filth, I guess. They do not comprehend that they are being changed as well, only on a much slower, perhaps even geological timeline. The experiment will have to be done over. The hot summer air does not favor corpses. Frustrating. Damn it, it wasn't fresh enough. DNA is a labyrinth that travels upwards. The sky ladder. Twin serpents entwined into infinity. Though this, uh, through the scrim of the heavens and into the waiting void. The lure of the labyrinth draws us to our chosen field to unlock those secrets. We are explorers. We are devout. We tread further into the unknown corridors than anyone who has ever come before us. We must know. The pain. My cells divide on unknowable vectors, but I must know them. Or, I must not know them. Pain. My mind. This is all a mistake. I should not have looked at them. And to think I hesitated. Oh, that's a wonderful last entry in there. Fills me with all kinds of confidence. Oh! Oh, you get all the new chocolates first. That's awesome, LTG. <laughs> Orange flakes with honey and peanuts. That's interesting. Chocolate cream with caramel and biscuit pieces. I like it. Oh, I already passed the third one. All right, thank you for letting me know, Tomlinson. Oh, back on this ramp. All right. It's a little hard to tell with a chat delay sometimes where the... Where exactly you mean relatively? Quick access inventory updated. Let's head back here because I'm a little worried about that wave coming back on me. Let's check it out once we get in here. And thank you once again, Tomlinson. All right, recording number three then. Thus far, my intellect has not suffered under a regimen of the field. I find I am still able to turn my head fast enough to catch my shadow before it sneaks up on me. <laughs> I confound it every time. 
If I were bad, would I be able to do this? I think not. I feel safe in increasing the dosage. God damn it, Klein. Uh. Oh wow, these are really well hidden here. Thank you, Tom again, Thomason. Quick access inventory. Get out updated. of this filthy little alcove and recording number four. I have seen the dark universe yawning. Where the black planets roll without aim. Where they roll in their horror unheeded. Without knowledge or luster or name. I have seen. I have seen things in my sleep. Nothing is as ancient as sleep except for the sleepers. I have seen the spaces beyond. Shh, 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 shh. I have seen things I dare not share with Rochi. They who sleep must wake. This is not the first time this has happened. And when everything is gone, it won't be the last. The vermiculated inevitability is horrific and beautiful. Yeah, it really does, Bob. I, I believe one of the characters speculated it was some sort of extra-dimensional parasite. That's the closest I think I've heard to uh, what might be believable. All right, now we just need to find that fifth recording. Check around for it here a little bit, but I think I'm going to have to go in here. And I see more lore up ahead, too. So, this seems dangerous. Oh, crap. Hello, I am the doctor. Oh, shit, Klein. Hey, Klein. Well, you look surprised to see me. Curious. Just a bit. Do I know you? Have I killed you? Have you killed me? Once. Verdammt. The revivification process plays havoc with my memory. You are here regarding the tremors, yes? Strange phenomenon. The vibrations travel from our three dimensions into the spaces beyond. Perhaps you know things about the tremors that I do not. Possibly. We play a question game, yes? Very simple. I apply pain, you abate the pain with answers. Shall we begin? No, I don't like this game. The tremors made the filth quiver. I must know why. Tell me what I want to know. Oh crap, no. Oh, it's on cooldown. <laughs> Oh, oh damn it. You prematurely. How embarrassing. Yeah, I should have waited until I was surrounded there. Hey, Cat Crasher, welcome in. How are you doing today, Cat Crasher? Hopefully things have been well with you. <laughs> Lots of deaths tonight. It's a really intense mission, but... You know, what do you expect when you find the good doctor here? Oh, we can do this, though. We can do this. I also wanted to check my quest log because it mentioned that the Angry Earth we've advanced as well. Just need to find more clients' research. All right. Ooh. <laughs> the Baru Kitty emote. I like that one. Hopefully I don't have to listen to the whole speech this time. Survive Dr. Kleiner's attacks is what it says. Alright, so for the single ones, all I need to do Nothing is to just say. dodge a little bit. Oh, ow! Requires me to really say keep an eye on. Anything. Oh, screw you! I'm a silent protagonist! Get off Tell my case! What I want to know. Nope, nope. Please oh understand. damn it! I think your it death just is not my design. Your death is incidental. I think got, I laid it down just a little bit too early there, because it only lasts a couple seconds. Got this. Thank you, Bob. 
Trailer voice in a world, a secret world, where Shane shoots mummies and dies over and over again in situations where he knows the answer, yet somehow can't execute the next the correct strategy. One man. <laughs> Last second, yeah, that's what I was thinking there, Tomlinson. We're moving closer. Ever so slowly. I need to buy off my uh, anima degradation, though. Holy crap. Starting to get pretty nasty right there. Groundhog Day style. It's actually interesting because in-universe, the resurrections actually happen in-universe. My character is uh, canonically more or less immortal, which is interesting. All right. Gotta keep spinning around and make sure I know where the blasts are coming from, and then dodge them. Easier said than done, certainly, but we can do it. There's one. That one. Nothing to say. Nope, nothing. Ah, oh, she got slow. Damn you! Here we go. Did it! It worked! Clever! Hell yeah! Eventually. Ow. That hurt though. Oh, he's still shooting at me! Damn it! I thought that would end things, but no, I guess he's not letting me out so easy. Easy, I say, in air quotes. Ow, damn! Come on, you bastard. What do you know about these tremors and quakes? There we go! I'm not telling Very you, Klein! Good. I will be less gentle now. Oh, good. Oh, good. He's just gonna keep me in here until he kills me. Nothing to say. Oh, this is bad times. This is very bad times, chat. Will you be more transparent when I unzip your epidermis and deglove your body? Oh, God. Oh, dropped it a little too late. This is hard. Holy crap. Oh, do I have to start all over from the beginning? I bet I do. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Little Tortilla Boy. Oh my god, I love Pablo Francisco Broken Crow. Good reference. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know where that's from, Broken Crow, I highly recommend you look up Pablo Francisco on YouTube. He's amazing. To answer his question about Tremors and Quakes, one was an okay B-movie, the other was a pretty fun first-person shooter. I do like Tremors. <laughs> the original Tremors, I think, is the best one, though. After that, it gets a little bit too cheesy for my taste. Though I did watch all of them, including the TV show. Stop dying, Zero? That's a pro strat. I should probably take your advice on that one. Take some notes, perhaps. I was never much of a Quake guy, though. Quake was a little bit too uh, fast-paced for me. My reflexes are pathetic. Uh, I did play some Unreal Tournament back in college. Uh, specifically UT2K4, which I really enjoyed. All right, easier to time the device placement if you watch where the last one will complete the circle. All right. So should I should I throw it right when the circle completes, or do I have to wait for some other cue? That's my question. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> also, good tips there, LTG. Not very easy to execute, but I'll do what I can. Yeah, it looks like I might have to start the whole sequence again from the start. Shit! This is no joke! The tremors made the filth quiver. I must know why. I'm not telling you anything, Klein. Tell me what I want to know. No, screw you. Alright, so I dropped it right when the circle completed, and it worked! Alright, good, so I might be able to do that then. 
Maybe even yeah. a way to beat after the circle completes. Let's hope that does it, because I think that's really the last frontier here. Is just making sure I can time dropping the device Hawk, exactly. Damn you! No! I saved my talking for unstream, not talking to mad scientist Klein. Mr. Oh, I work with Orochi, so I'm gonna do dangerous and stupid things with the filth. Damn it! What do you know about these tremors and quakes? Alright, here we go again. Wait a beat and drop it. And it works! Alright, that's two. So the third one is where Very we died good. last time. I will be less Ow. gentle now. Get my focus up. Avoid those circles on the floor. Oh, avoid those blasts wherever possible. Oh, we can do this, chat. Will you be more transparent when I unzip your epidermis and deglove your body? Wait a beat and drop it. There, S3. We are now farther than we've made it before. Doesn't seem to be over yet either. Did you feel that? The quakes grow stronger. By my calculations, they originate from somewhere near the Forbidden City. Oh shit. Did you hear that? Yes, yes, you heard it. I did. A voice grinding in the teeth of the angry earth. So puissant. Oh no, that I didn't hear, you're weird. What is it? I must sequester myself. I need to think, I need to concentrate. We're good. I survived! Oh, 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 we got out. Oh. Rip Space Pinball. I, I miss Space Pinball from the old uh, windows. Broken Crow, glad you're liking Pablo Francisco there. You, you'll see where the sketch comes from eventually in there. Think of old games, cool news in the emulation scene. Retro Arc can now have lower input lag than the actual machines. Damn! That's probably going to be a big deal in the scene. Should be interesting. Oh, on his desk up here? I think he was over here. Let me get the legend first. Oh, man. King Solomon. All right, there's another good one to have. Where did Solomon go, sweetling? His greatest power is his art of synchronicity. He walks between raindrops. The fates cannot see him. The dragon does not feel him tiptoe across its coils. The eyes of a mantis shrimp cannot see the color of his magic coat. We, not even we, can track him. We can only see his negative reflection, the ripples he makes in people and things. The echoes. Spooky. And there's the last recording. Let me turn in a mission report first, though. In the unnatural span of years that the station master has served, I have never heard him tell of being I've never heard tell of him being a wolf crier. We ignore that proverbial can canary at our own peril. Dr. Klein's continued activity is disconcerting, but seems unconnected to the mystery at hand. Keep digging. And we got a investigation vanity bag. Black combat boots, hell yeah. Go ahead and sort away the new loot, and then we'll grab that last, uh... Grab that last recording and listen to that and see what's on there. Because we might get some more loot after we listen to that as well. That fight sequence, I don't know, it was pretty interesting. Just uh, a little tricky to execute is all. Quick access inventory updated. All right, this should be the last recording. Let's check it out. This parasitic worm swirls in the eyes of the snail. The snail is compelled to climb higher and higher to expose itself to the hungry sky. <laughs> Ascension comes with pain and in the belly of ravenous wings. I feel the swirl of knowledge in my eyes. I am compelled to climb. Man, he's terrifying. Well, that's another side quest completed. A couple more rewards to sort away there. 
Let's do that real quick. We'll do a teensy bit of upgrading. Oh, we got a second of downtime. And then we'll see what's up next. Upgrade my backup shotgun real quick. Get that up to level 10. Almost got paired with my backup pistol. So that's nice. That, we probably only need one glyph to get that up to level 20. And then do I have any non-max glyphs sitting around? I might not. That one, it says, is only level 1. So yeah, I guess we'll start on this next. Good deal. Then the dice. And then my head talisman. I think that might actually be approaching a uh, max level as well. That'll be interesting. Right, get that up to level 18. Hell yes. And lastly, this thing. That'll get up to level 17. Which will put me at item power 114. Not half bad. Auto change the next and so forth and so on. Hell yes. More quest. More quest. An interlude of sand, it says, and it's telling me to head over this way, so I'm assuming they're going to give me an exit to the dungeon, maybe? Actually, this way looks blocked off. See if I can jump over it, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. I suppose I have to head back, then. Which is good, because I imagine I wouldn't be able to survive this entire dungeon by myself. I've tried that with a couple dungeons. I'm not nearly powerful enough for that. So, yeah, it looks like we're just... You know, run straight back to the entrance and get the hell out of here. And from there, we are headed, as it says, to the City of the Sun God. Alright. And yes, we're out of here. Excellent! Ooh, that was a little spooky. Being in a uh, sort of side section of the dungeon for a little bit solo. Well, we made it out. I'm happy about that. Because I immediately hear creepy stuff all around me. Alright, so now we need to head to the City of the Sun Gods. So let's go ahead and warp over to the Way to Aten. Way to the Aten, I believe. And that'll be where we're headed next. And I'll make sure I don't have any other quests sitting around from that. Nope, we're good. Let's see, your investigation of the mysterious tremors indicate that Dr. Klein was not responsible. Clues, however, point towards the City of the Sun God. Alright. City word we go, then. We're headed over this way, I think. We'll turn it around, but I think this is the way we want to go. All the spoopy stuff for this game. It, it is overall a horror based game but it's not necessarily a scary game I think even though it does definitely have scary stuff in it if that makes any sense all right cool I think I'm headed the right way hi right. notice all the swarm guys just hanging up on this rock that's a little spooky I think I got a piece of lore from up on these rocks once so I probably don't need to go up here again but also seems like it might be a little more peaceful way to go up here, though. Looking at all the baddies, I think I might be wrong there. Just has smoke exactly. More existential horror? I, I don't know that I've seen any jump scares, but yeah, there is some stuff that is really creeping me out in here. Additional assignment received. Initializing. Uh, specifically that uh, thing I told you about, uh, you guys about earlier, that quest chain with the conspiracy theorist in... Uh, Solomon Islands. That one spooked the hell out of me. Absolutely terrifying. Also, a really cool design quest overall. I really liked that one. Very long quest chain as well. I mean, that one, it even ended with a unique area made just for that quest chain, so... You know, I appreciate the effort they poured into it. The install instructions won't show AMD, and I don't know how to get it to work. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Sorry there, Samus. I don't know how to help you with that one, unfortunately. Oh, 
Alright. But I got a mini quest here to th kill uh, three Jin, so I'm just gonna take these guys out along my way here. And, you know, I have to pass by three anyway, so I may as well. It says there's a unique here, which is odd, because I figured I would have killed all the uniques. He might be on top of the temple. Maybe. I'm not sure how I wouldn't have killed him before. But you'll know we, d we do what we gotta. Kill as many uniques as we can here. Get those sweet, sweet rewards. Ah, he is up top. That would have been why I didn't get to him before. Well, how difficult is it to get up there is my question. Doesn't look like it's that hard, so let me try just poking around this way, because that looks like how I need to go get up there. Take these guys out first of all. As they're fighting each other and then I convince them to come fight me instead. You gonna aggro me? No? Good. I think I saw the guy up here. Oh no! As I fall all the way back down there. Dude, that tiny, tiny little gap between the rocks right there. Alright. Take two right here. GG, I know. I know, if there is a way to fail, I will find it. And I will accomplish it. Wow, he is terrifying. Disciple of the first Jin. This should be an interesting fight. And I see some lore up here too. So... I want the lore. I must slay him. Right, he doesn't look like he's too tough, but he's got some interesting moves, so I need to keep going so I don't get caught in those fire areas. Holy crap. Right as soon as I say that, he busts out some big stuff on me. There we go. Nice. Short fight. What about a fun fight? Oh, a couple of lore nodes up here. Hell yes. Got one for the Temple City Discovery. An earthquake struck near El Moriah. The sand and rock shifted. Hidden passageways in the cliffside open. A whole hidden city revealed. Seven sentinel statues stood, untouched from millennia, guarding the terrible unknown now released. And another one right here. Zero, so reading up on the forums about the Retro Arc update, I only found people comparing it to real hardware, as in the SNES Mini, which is not real hardware, true. I'll just wait for more info, and lastly, it'll take a long time for speedruns to be accepted on- Oh yeah, true. They, they might even uh, not want to accept speedruns on it. Hard to say, but we'll see. Alright, another one about King Solomon here. Wow, a long one. In his guile, he trapped and subjugated 72 demons. We call upon their names. Oh, wow, those are all- Those are the names of all the demons. Yeah, I'm sure as hell not going to read all that off, but that's- spooky to know all right two lore pieces right there that we didn't have before I'm happy about that all right to the city of the sun god and then I imagine I'll get another part of the quest chain right here that this is only one tier when you're off to run errands in the 80 degree heat there may be ice cream in my future hell yes hope we get something tasty then and uh, good luck with your errands, and good luck surviving that terrible burning ball of heat up in the sky that we, for some reason, must still deal with in this modern world of ours. And thank you again for stopping by, Rin. And also, while I'm thinking about it, LTG, if you could throw a shout-out to uh, Rin, I would appreciate it. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Rin. Anywho, who wouldn't want... Uh, uh, wouldn't more frames be worse for X-Speedrunners? That's true. More frames would be bad in that situation. But yeah, folks, if you haven't checked out Rin right there, wonderful streamer. Does all kinds of things. She plays... She's been playing The Witcher. She's been playing uh, some co-op games with her husband. She's been doing some uh, building with Lego and Lego-like things. All kinds of stuff. And she is a, uh, a wonderful and intelligent person to listen to on commentary. One of my favorite things to listen to in a streamer. So... If you haven't checked her out, you owe it to yourself to check her out. So make sure... Click that link right there. Give her a follow. And say howdy next time she's on. Alright. I think I had yeah, one thing to sell here. But I am going through a lot of uh, money. With all of the teleporting. So I may as well sell that. Oh, and I've got... Uh... Right, I forgot I had some uh, bags I hadn't opened. So we'll do that here as well. And that's another thing to sell too. So that works out nicely. A couple of accessories... 
teensy bit of upgrading while I'm here. I like the, the tiny little incremental gains, like here we get this up to level 3. It's small, but it does make me feel good. I am one of those people that's easily uh, suckered in by the MMO mechanics. I like seeing my numbers go up. Makes me feel good. <laughs> so that's why I don't mind doing this pretty frequently. Certainly you don't have to, but it's nice. There we go. And we'll just sell that assault rifle as well, since we probably won't be needing that anytime soon. Just sneezed your brain out, Bob. That doesn't sound healthy. Consider consulting with a physician. <laughs> and also, you know, picking it up, putting in some ice, maybe? Ice, is that what you do when you sneeze out your brain? I can't remember. Sounds like good advice in general. Possibly. Or was it milk with a brain? I don't remember. Doesn't come up too much. Fell into the vent, it's gone. No, Bob. You probably didn't need it anyway. It's no big deal. Who uses their brain anyway these days? Wikipedia, you that's where it's at. Haven't you? The anguish of the trembling earth. It disturbs my children and plucks discord in the song of the sentinels. But this does not feel like the maleficence of Argonauten. Speak with my daughter, with Moya. She will tell you more. All right. And thus the quest is on. So I don't know if we're going to have to talk to all of the Sentinels again, but either way, this definitely feels like I should have jumped on this quest before I finish all of the desert area, but uh, you live, you learn, you make mistakes, you are Shane as games. That's pretty much my, uh, pretty much my uh, sequence of events here. I think I can get out this way. I'm good enough with my jumping. I am. Excellent. I can't remember, he says. Where is Pinky when you need him? <laughs> Indistinguishable from real hardware, which is nice, but not like LTG said. RetroArch can now have lower input lag than actual machines. Didn't find anything about that. That's... That's tricky, then. Like you said, Zero, that's a thing that you would want to know about. You'd want to have all the information before you jump into, so... You know, since it is super new, I suppose it makes sense that information isn't readily available, but hopefully that will be coming soon, then. Eventually throw the retro garbage away. I mean, I love me some original hardware, but the problem with original hardware is it isn't getting any younger, if you know what I mean, so... You know, if we can get some new machines to replace that and still play our old stuff on... Because I suspect the old games themselves, especially the disc-based media, they're definitely going to outlive those uh, consoles. So we need something new to play them on whenever possible. You speak heresy. I'm so sorry, LTG. I know. I'm one of those damn millennials that doesn't respect the original hardware. <laughs> All right. That was a quick trip. With uh, my sprint and some good jumping, we were actually able to make this pretty quickly. And we get a cinema for our trouble. Damn! Good catch. Sister! Sister! What was that noise? I don't know, little brother. I don't know. It sounds like thunder and flashes like lightning, but is neither. Make them stop. I'm scared. Hush, little brother. Don't be. I'm right here. Is it over? For now. But the enemy is digging in the ruins and they are opening the ground with fire and noise. They must be stopped. You make it sound so easy, big sister. But how can we stop what we don't understand? We will think of something. Pieces of the city are being taken away from the valley and the black oil is seeping out of the ground. I don't like black oil. It gives me nightmares. Maybe it will give the bad people nightmares too. What if he's right? We should just leave them be, let them destroy themselves. Just let them go. Have you lost what little scent you had left, sister? Every part of the city they remove, every drop of black oil that seeps out hurts us. Hurts me. I can feel our grip on the black pharaoh slipping. So what's your plan? You always have a plan. I don't know. Oh no! It's starting again! Close your eyes, little brother. Close your eyes and I will sing to you.
Yeah, she's right. We can't let this go. We can't risk anything destroying the balance that will let the Black Pharaoh out. We need to, uh, we need to get in on this. But so you never throw out your Mega Drive Mark II? I'd certainly never throw out any working retro hardware I have, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, over time, they start degrading there. Dude, you'd love to throw out all your setup and have only PC if you ever moved to another country. But no, you'd have to rebuy everything. That's true. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. I love that song. <laughs> you already have four copies of Final Fantasy X. No! <laughs> Why are they in statues? Their their souls were trapped in the statues in order to keep the Black Pharaoh from ever awakening, Bob. It's a bit of a spooky story. And sad, too. But we got some more rewards there. Which is nice. Getting plenty of rewards today, so that's good. And I'm sure we'll need uh, to bulk up as much as we can for whatever waits for us in the next area since I am totally blind on whatever could be there. Can't ever be too prepared. This, I believe. Level 19. All right, and our next quest is called Digging Too Deep. Let's see, Broken Crow, when you moved to Australia, you just brought uh, two extra suitcases and brought as much as you could with me. The rest is in storage at your mom's. That's pretty much what you have to do sometimes, I think. Ow! What the hell? Who's this asshole now? Hey, get b Wow, he is fast. Get back here, you douchebag. Whatever you're up to, I'm pretty sure I don't like it. Damn, he is gaining ground on me. Well, if I can just figure out where he's going, I don't necessarily need to catch him. Let's hope he doesn't try anything too shifty. Go and parkour on me, that could be a problem enemies too. Oh damn, where'd he go? Don't lose him, don't lose him, don't lose him, don't lose him. I lost him. Shit, where'd he go? I'm gonna assume he dropped. There he is! Special assignment received. Initializing. Alright, so we went into the camp and now it's telling me I have to kill cultists and destroy supplies. Can do. Screw you, cultists. I think I just killed the courier, too, and he dropped a note as well. Hello. A note was left in the sand from an Otnus courier. Where was it headed? Check the note right here. Abdel Daoud demands we move more quickly. Take the alternate route. There should be fewer carrion eaters that way. Do not go with any open wounds. They smell it. May the Whisperer guide you. All right, I'll investigate that more in a moment after we finish killing some cultists to finish this quest and destroying supplies. As man do I love taking out these cultists. They're bad dudes. Just need to take out a couple more and then we are good for this segment of the quest. We already took out enough supplies to finish it, so that's easy at least. Oh wow, I'm dying. How did I not notice that? And I didn't load my healing bolts. That would have been nice. Kill the Otnus Zealot is my next quest. Which I assume is right up here? Check out the note after that. Killing cultists is a staple in any good game. Exactly. Oh, what? there they are. Alright. Take out the guy right nearby so I don't have... Wow, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. And there's a war node right there. I definitely don't want to leave that behind. I'm going to have to use one of my heals for the day. Almost got him, though. There we go. Whew. Grab this lore first. Cultists, of course. The medication of the filth lobotomizes their brains. Vibrations from profane angles of undiscovered dimensions tickle their tongues to inspiration. Listen to them. With your lights burn away all hateful things. Don't resist. Our bodies are unworthy of the majesty. See how your radi radiance burns my skin. I am blessed. I too feared Aten. So wrong. I was very wrong. I give you my eyes and I see. I see. It is beautiful. Creepy. 
Let's check out the map. Alright, so it's got a map to the main dig right there, so we should be able to go there. Digging continues using dynamite, minor injuries. Ghoul gibbering last night, getting closer. More dynamite, more whispering liquid. Oh god, the filth. Overseer Kam uh, Kamuzu calls it the Tears of God. No, bad. Ghoul attacks. Overseer Kamuzu ordered no exposed wounds. Explosive accident during ghoul attack. Many supplies lost. More ghoul attacks. Explosives at risk. Move supplies to more secure area. Experiencing difficulty with ghouls along delivery route to main camp. Increasing dynamite use. Ghoul bite, wound rotting. Oh no. They suggest to Kamuzu to find better delivery route to main camp. The ghouls are unrelenting. Alright, so I assume we gotta get up to the main camp then. So how about that note then? Let's see. Um, That's a side mission, but... It might be nearby. Uh, it's not too far from here. Let's see if we can pull that off. Wants me to do a little side quest over here, so I may as well. Well, I'll have to check out that hall later, LTG. I am always interested to see those uh, retro games you're picking up. You have good taste in games. I like it. Valkyrie Profile. That's a good find. Most definitely. Follow the main mission path. It'll take you there. All right, Tomlinson. We'll do then. It'll save me some time, I suppose. Well, let's take out these uh, mop risers while I'm over here. Ow. Ow. Quit knocking me down. There we go. And I think this is the way I want to take anyway, so may as well. Alright. So I remember it's uh, four of them is actually a lot, so we'll go ahead and uh, run into them as we can. A hundred yen! That's disgusting, LTG. Disgusting. Getting classic retro games for so cheap. It pains me. It pa it was sealed. You're literally killing me, LTG. Actual death is upon me. <laughs> In other words, I hope it's great and true and shakes the emulator scene. Yeah, thank us. Thank you so much for uh, bringing that LTG. That is definitely something that is of uh, big interest to a lot of people in this channel. So I appreciate that. No, 100 yen is like nothing. That's pocket change. So that's that's why I'm so disgusted. Is I'm like, oh my god, that that game goes for a lot in the states. Is why. It's a pretty rare game around here. At least last time I checked, anyway. All right, one more and we're good here. Hey, buddy. Let's dance. I don't want to run into that other uh, mop slop riser over here too, so I'm trying to be a little careful where I'm running around. There we go. Get somewhere relatively safe, and we'll turn that one in. And ooh, got my uh, gun experience up a little bit. That's nice. And looks like one of my oh, there's the dynamite certainly. Go ahead and set that to my main quest. This looks like we're going to have to stop over here. Oh, they're doing, trying to dynamite the ghouls. Holy hell. Clean up the ambushed cultists. Don't mind if I do. I mean, they're fighting the ghouls, and I don't like the ghouls either. But you know what? These guys are all kind of assholes. Don't mind taking them all out. Alright, so now we're all just left with the big boss man right here. He does look like a bit of a badass, but hopefully we get a good mash in my pistols. I'll be able to make quick work of him. Got a lot of health, that's for sure. And down, excellent. Then hold off the, hold off the ghouls! Oh no. Ghoul swarms! That's not a thing I like. Alright, that one was easy enough at least. Oh, that one! That's a lot of ghouls. That is a large group of ghouls. Good thing I got my ult. 
but it's gonna be another 15 seconds before it comes back up. Unfortunately, I have to make do until then. Just two of them here, so it wouldn't even be worth ulting them, though. We can finish one of these guys off. There we go. And, ooh, the Soul Biter. I'm imagining that's the boss, man. Roll, roll. There we go. That looked like it would have hurt. Oh, right. Soul Biter is definitely one of those things. It's a, it's a little silly of a name, but also sounds like someone I probably wouldn't want to mess with. Throwing that out there. Almost got him finished, though. And nice blue match to end things. Whew. All right, and we're continuing down the trail. Oh, planning to head it over there for the Olympics LTG. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. I have never been to a sporting event nearly that big. All right, so we're going to have to kill our way down here, I suspect. This area is pretty dangerous. Or at least some of these dudes down here are pretty badass, so... I don't want to risk aggroing way too many people, but we'll see what we can do. This should be the next area, so is this for the Acklet's Demise, maybe? No, that's down here, actually. What is this red area on my map, though? Is this supposed to be something I'm doing here? Feels like it. I don't know. Try killing some dudes, see if that changes anything. Yeah, I got this big red circle, and that usually means that there is something you need to fight here. Or you need to defend something here. But we'll just uh, take out all the ghouls, see if that helps. I mean, you know, they're ghouls. I don't really mind taking them out. Kind of doing the world a service. But no, that's about everybody. Weird. Alright. So then we'll just switch back over to Acolyte's Demise and we'll go for that one then. Really? A Kotatsu LTG? What do you want that with that? Alright, so now it looks like that did complete. So, what's next? Investigate the Ghoul Caves? Alright, so that one leads to something right nearby, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hello. Oh, I almost didn't notice you. How dark it was right there. I'll take you out first, then. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little table with a heater underneath it. Supposedly very nice in winter. Destroy the stolen supplies and clear the cave of ghouls. Can do, will do. And we're just gonna blow these up, I imagine. Oh, set them on fire, hell yeah. Problem solved. Any other ghouls in here then? No, I will take these ghouls out next then. Gentlemen. I don't know if that hit all of them. Make do with what we got. There we go. We're good. Enter the cultist excavation. That was the other tunnel then. Basically lived under the thing in there. It does sound very comfy, I'll admit. Proceed deeper into the excavation. Easier said than done, since there's a lot of fighting going on here. Right, looks like we took out a good chunk of them. Finished off the last couple. Right, where's that guy I need to take out, then? Oh, he's nearby. Oops. Oh wow, I took a lot of damage from that. Ow. Ow! And of course, blow up the dynamite at close range. Remember to watch out for the suicide boys? I say as one of the suicide boys just about takes me out there. <laughs> Never fails. 
Oh, the cultist bomber is that one. Alright, as long as I... Ooh. Almost did not escape that one of my life. And of course I managed to switch to non-healing bolts on my shotgun. That's bad. But that's also two supplies down. And the acolyte I need to take out is right up here, it looks like. <sighs> Kotatsu Theater is in Japan. Seriously, Zero. That sounds super freaking comfy. I have never heard of such a thing in my life, but I like the idea. Alright, so I think the big man himself is right up ahead. Right around this corner, maybe? What does the other one want me to do? Yeah, I'm headed over there. Cool. <sighs> Good God, while we were sitting like tin sardines, eat comfy heated blankets. I like that. That's a good system right there. Anything that involves comfy blankets, I think is a pretty good system. That might just be me, though, but I don't think so. All right. Those guys are down. And looks like we got some dudes to take out over here. Managed to dodge the suicide guy there. That's a good thing at least. Take out the grenader next. Oh. That looked like a badass bomb. I get hit by that. Got my healing bullets back. Excellent. Got this excavator because they're kind of badass. And just one more grenade grenadier to take out. Yeah, pretty easy. Once you get down to it. So I actually seem to have passed the guy I need to take out. Where is he? Over here? Oh, he's in this little uh, side passage. All right. I get you. I'll take him out next then. And then we'll continue with the main quest. Man, there's a lot of dudes in this game. Holy crap. No healing bullets for me. Dang it. And the guy I need to kill should be right down here. Hey, buddy. Acolyte a shock. We meet at last. And you're going down. Sorry to say. I'm not actually sorry. I don't know why I said that. Just out of habit, I suppose. Trying to be polite. Hit him with some shotgun ammunition. I'm not getting my healing bullets back this fight. Did he just heal himself? I could have sworn I had him down lower than that. There he goes. Mission accomplished. Hell yes. And we can head on to the main quest again. Got my reward for that. Alright. Rest up a little bit. Disrupt the operation. That sounds like a thing I like doing. Like, seriously, how do people in Japan get any work done in the winter? I wouldn't leave. <laughs> Alright, what operation and how do I disrupt? Does it involve shooting dudes? Because it's kind of my specialty. Well, there are dudes to shoot, so let's start there. Thank goodness for bounty bullets. Is there anything they can't make better? If so, I haven't seen it yet. Boltist Explosive Expert. That sounds like a dude I don't necessarily want to mess with. Did he just lay a mine on the ground? Oh, sneaky. Very sneaky. Yeah, I think that another dude lay... Yeah, Plant Mine is what the name of that ability right there. I have to be careful not to step on that thing. What else? More dudes to shoot. Alright. So I guess by disrupt operation, hopefully they just mean keep shooting dudes. Seems like a good plan until something better comes up. Who else wants some then? Anyone? They're just out of the target area. Let's see. I don't see... 
anyone else to take out here. I don't see anything I can interact with either. Keep looking around. Although they're going to start respawning on me pretty soon. Here's somebody. I don't think they're a respawn either. Could be wrong though. Mine radius when plants that thing. Whoops, hello. I appear to. Oh, the Overseer! We have summoned the Overseer. And he's got some moves on him. There's my precious healing bullets, though, so that's a good start. And I think we can get him. Got him! Examine his journal. Alright. Kotatsu, where the surface is a display under plexiglass. Oh, that'd be so good! High tech Kotatsu. I think you're onto something there. Praise be to the whisperer who withdraws, who whispers into the heart of mankind. A new day, Abdu uh, Abdel Daoud blesses me with burden of overseeing the excavation. I will not disappoint. Digging continues, more tremors. The ghouls plague us. I have ordered that no one shall walk about the dig sites with open wounds. All bandages must be tight and fresh. Aten deliver us from their carrion mouths. We now use explosives in the excavation. We sift through the earth and the past. We seek past secrets and past glories, that we might add them to his glory. His black tears seep from the ground. Aten bless us. Shuddering grace beyond to the whisperer, withdraws who whispers into the heart of mankind. A new day. The tremors continue. What causes them? Last night the quaking woke me, the earth grinding its teeth in the rubble. I heard something. I heard something. Black worm save us. It sounded like a voice. May the eaters have mercy. It was not the voice of the whisperer. No, it was deep. Tectonic. I think it said, come to me. It offered to grant my heart's desire. Aten, deliver me from temptation. Well, that's friggin' creepy. There is something positively unsettling about mad cultists being so industrious. What are they after? They did not directly cause the tremors with their explosives, but that doesn't mean there's no correlation. This bears further investigation. I'll leave you to it. Don't mind if I do. Got plenty of rewards, but I want to get the hell out of this cave before we do anything with those. And it says we are heading back to the Guardian, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just do that post haste. Are we, are we starting an industry here? Are we starting up a business? Hitekotatsus.com? Damn, sign me up for that. Is Umbrella Corp involved? They're always involved. That is the plot twist of every game ever. Spoiler, it was actually Umbrella Corp the whole time. Those bastards, this is a dead end. I should not have come here. I may die down here. Why did I not notice that it was listed as a dead end on the map? I don't know, it was right there. Literally right there. The hell do I get out of here? I may die down here. Maybe I can just get somewhere quiet and transport. That seems so much easier and doesn't involve sand golems murdering me. Let's do that. Excellent. Right in the middle of an attack there too. Oh my goodness. Umbrella has a nothing on Orochi. Oh man. Uh, Umbrella's maybe a subsidiary of Orochi? Oh, uh, maybe? That's going to be my new headcanon now. <laughs> that the uh, Resident Evil games are just spin-offs of Secret World. <laughs> Shane dying is a big part of what you do on this channel. It's true. It's true. One of the most popular things I do on here, as a matter of fact, Rogue Crow. At Shane's games, we are all about content and not the quality. <laughs> you may ask, shouldn't your content have quality? Seems like a good question. And to that I say... Wait with bated breath here. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> oh, I'm dying here. What? 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 To that you say what? <laughs> Bread squish. Of course. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and unpack all of those uh, rewards I've been getting. See if we can. Uh, 
sort some of them away while we've got a little bit of downtime here. And is this uh, belt something I want? Eh, we can go ahead and get rid of that, that's fine. And two two dot sigils. Um, crit power, I guess we'll hold on to for right now, but the rest we can get rid of. All right, is there some upgrades in here then? I had a line; it was lost in translation. Oh no! <laughs> yes, show off your sassy slash smug emotes. Those are wonderful emotes to see. I want to see them, Zero wants to see them, possibly all of chat wants to see your sassy slash smug emotes. My belt is maxed out, I forgot, I'm using my backup belt now. Let's go ahead and upgrade that a little bit, three items should do it good. Almost two levels, not bad at all. And then what do we got? Um, I'm gonna level up one of my uh, glyphs. Go ahead and do that. And then let's do wrist talisman. That and that at it. That up to level four. Very nice. There's more of those tremors. Really gotta do something about those. And soon. Level 24 on the head talisman. And lastly, fishbone medallion. Excellent. Oh, that was productive. And we'll sell the rest next time we get a chance. Alright. I've seen the Baru ones before, but that doesn't mean they're not adorable. I do love those. And we get another cinema for our trouble. It hath reached me, O children of the age, that the Magrabi wizard grew furious with Aladdin. Give me the lamp, he bellowed. But the lamp sat heavy at the bottom of Aladdin's pocket, a pocket teeming with other treasures, and he could not reach it. And so the sorcerer waxed foolish with fury, and he waxed wroth with wrath exceeding. With a gesture, he heaped the earth over the boy by a grammary. Out of sight and out of light, Beneath the earth, amid that ancient hoard, Aladdin cast away all hope for life. The ne'er-do-well. The boy who wanted no other occupation than a scapegrace life, wept. He shed a tear for his mother, and all the pain he brought her. He shed a tear for his departed father. And he shed a tear for himself. Aladdin rubbed his hands together for excess of sorrow. He had forgotten he wore the signet ring that the Magrabi wizard had given him before sending him down into the Thonic Halls. This ring shall free thee from all hurt and fear which may threaten thee, the sorcerer had said. And as the boy prayed and chafed his hands, his fingers chanced to rub the ring, when, lo and behold, the ring's familiar rose upright before him and cried, I attend. Thy slave is come. Ask what so thou wantest, for that I am the thrall of him whose hand is the ring. The signet of my lord and master. Aladdin saw, standing before him, a marid, like unto the ifrit of King Solomon's jinns. He trembled at the terrible sight. But the slave of the ring said, I'm sorry, my children, one moment. Oh, but it was getting good. It's not actually one of the original stories from the Book of One Thousand and One Nights. I didn't recognize it. It was added in by a Frenchman in 1710, I think. But the children enjoy it. That's what counts. And it contains fragments of secrets, like the signet ring bearing the seal of Solomon, a ring captured by a demon, hurled into the sea, swallowed by a fish, caught by a fisherman, and served to the king. A ring that gave the power to enslave jinn, exorcise demons, and speak with animals. But that was one of the many tricks of Wily Solomon. You see, he had not one, 
but many magical rings. Ooh. These rings are now scattered and lost and coveted. But I digress. The Atanus camp turned up no information regarding the tremors? Not really. The djinn are sensitive to such things. They may know more. Perhaps if you brought an offering to Amir, it would appease him to lend you his knowledge? Going back to our old buddy Amir. And yeah, I did hear about Total Biscuit. That is really disappointing. I know he announced that he had cancer uh, some time back, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that it progressed so much. So I hope uh, I'm sending my best thoughts, and I hope everyone else is too for him uh, fighting that through to that and recovering. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for him, certainly. And yeah, look, I know I'm supposed to be saving the world from these tremors, but just tell the rest of the story, old man. Come on. Come on. All right, so we get our rewards here as well. Already, we're piling up new rewards. All right, so next up, search the nearby Hell Incursion for Jin activity. All right, see if we can find something that we might be able to reward a mirror, gift to a mirror, so that he'll help us out here. Now, I know I've seen Jins around here before. Man, this place is crawling, literally crawling. We're gonna try and ignore these guys because we're looking for we're hunting gin today is what we're doing. Got a very big area to search though. Oh, here's one. The gin reliquarian. That's not one I think I've seen before. New type of gin is uh probably not a good thing. Let's see if we can relieve him of some of his HP. Make everyone's lives a little easier here. Gotta get out of that AoE in time, it was looking a little scary. And it says he dropped a note. Hello. Four rings, four elements, four species of djinn. Four rings separate and lost, each desires its mates to be whole again. See the serpent in the sky ladder. Air is its head, fire is its tail. Water sits at the bottom of the belly, it yearns to be whole again. All right, so we've got a map of what looks like where we might find some rings. It's saying search this area, though. That map wasn't of this area. That's odd. I guess we'll look around and see what we can see. Maybe that map is where we have to put the rings, then? I don't know. Something over here. Don't think that's a ring though, but give me an excuse to take these guys out. Partially buried object. There is no ring here. Nope. But looks like that's what I'm looking for is uh, stuff buried in the sand to investigate further. Let's keep up with that. LTG, you can't wait for your tax. You're probably the only person that says that ever. I don't know. People like their tax returns. Certainly, I think a lot of people are excited about those. Is that what you mean? Can't wait for your tax returns? Can certainly get behind that. Nothing to see over at any of these locations that I can spot. Another buried object over here, but unfortunately I just pissed off the reliquarian again. That wasn't my intention. Oh, I'll take him down a second time then. That's fine. I will take him down as many times as are required. I don't mind. That's fine. Beating up evil Jin, it's a thing I can do. A nice little red match there that sped me along. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Partially buried object. There is no ring here. Here we go. Antiquated ring. Quick access inventory updated. Huh. Badly damaged ring, but a magic ring is a magic ring, I suppose. Jerry went to the tax center. It turns out since I learned less than uh, 2000 a year, you don't need to declare anything from Twitch. All right. Well, that's pretty convenient then. 7K withheld. That is going to be a nice little payday there, LTG. I can, 
I can definitely see getting excited about that. Woo. So, I have to ask. I am legally obliged to ask, LTG. Got any plans for all that cash? Any sweet plans for any of that? Perhaps. Are there any retro games in your future? I mean, I'm imagining if you're eager for it, you must have thought about it at least a little bit. Alright, so it's time to search for the next ring. Let's see what we can find around here. Secret World Legends is coming down in 60 minutes for an update. No! No, I'm in I want to finish this quest! Oh, damn it. Tonight was another night I was going to go long, too. I was going to be like, let's play as long as it takes to finish this quest. And then no. No. Now I'm going to be down for maintenance. Shit! Oh, well, well, we'll see how much we can get down done before it goes down for maintenance then. Always had that with a WoW in Japan. Damn it. I haven't seen anything buried in this area yet either, so I'm wondering if maybe at least in one of these areas we have to kill some enemies. So we'll see. That guy taken care of. They didn't drop anything, that's for sure. Giant grasshopper locust, I believe. So you're on the right track. Had the right idea. Oh, Samus, you get that all the time in some of your games, too. It's frustrating. I understand that they do need to take stuff down to do maintenance, but still. Just because I understand why they have to do it, appreciate why they are doing it, doesn't mean I enjoy it. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll deal with it. I haven't seen anything where the ring is around here, though. Guess we'll take a closer look around the locust nest, see if we can spot anything here. Here we go! Dig in the sand! Defend yourself! Oh, crap! Never a good thing when your quest listing is defend yourself. Oh, that is a sign of bad things coming! Ult these guys, see if we can take them down quickly. There we go. Oh, now we got a big one. Locusts in the desert, ladies and gentlemen. It's bad times. You can see he's got that big shield around him, too. That I can do no damage on those sides, but luckily, got him taken down. Now we can finish our digging. Ooh! And we've got ring number two. Inventory updated. And on to the next location. Get booted for freaking maintenance. It never fails. See, why would either go down at 7 p.m. for you or 9 p.m. Prime time. Yeah, that is a good time to be playing. That's maddening. Maybe Drakengard 1 and 2. All right. I've played about halfway through Drakengard 1. And then I rage quit, as you may notice I tend to do a lot of the times, but it, it was one of those missions I got really frustrated with the dragon combat and had to bail. Most of that money is going to go on a car, alright! It's not a bad thing. Transportation, good to have. Nice to have. This Diablo Act 2, oh no. <laughs> no, I haven't played Diablo in a very, very very long time zero. I'm almost, not quite, but almost getting to the point where I'm starting to miss it after all these years. Report on chocolate, it is amazing. Oh, I, I'm very much more than a little jealous, LTG, not gonna lie. Both these guys, hopefully they'll go down nice and fast. They did, except for a couple stragglers, which we can finish off in due time. There we go. Hello. Alright, searching for ring number three then. No ring there. Hey, buddy. Gonna have to take you down for my own personal safety. Sorry. Nothing personal, you're just inherently evil. But you probably already suspected that. 
putting the money on top of a car? I mean, don't use the car after that. It'll just go flying right off. And then you don't have the money, and then you probably killed whoever's driving behind you. <laughs> then there's rioting near the freeways. It's a bad all around. There's nothing good about this idea. There's sand mound. There we go. Ring number three. And off to the final location then. Which looks like we'll just continue along this way, so that's handy. 94 Holden Apollo. I'm not even familiar with the company Holden. We don't have that in the U.S., I don't believe. Or if we do, I've never seen him. Otherwise known as an Aussie Camry. Alright, that I understand. Now you're speaking my language. You just know they walk on four legs, zero. Oh no. Unless you glue them in place. Oh man. Now, you got me curious about that right there. Alright, we are heading inside a temple. Let's see what's in here. Oh hey, more lore. My favorite. The Sentinels. A father's forehead wrinkles and the graven lines spell the dread of what he must do. Uh, Tamos goes to the bed of each of the seven children. It is painless, as gentle as a kiss on the forehead. He transitions them from life to death to something else. Seven tears. A trusted friend helps enact the ritual. Seven souls. They bind the children to the city of the sun god, manifested as seven great statues. Children caught in eternal half-life, together forever. They lock the black pharaoh and Aten to that place. Seven sentinels. That story is so sad. I need to look at this right here. What is this image you linked? Oh my god, are those actual pennies or is that a paint job? Because if that's actual pennies, color me very impressed, Tomlinson. That is amazing. Oh, those guys look like badasses. Oh, he got big! Why did he get real big? What is he doing? Kill the flame breath Rakshasa! I'll try! No promises, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, wow! That is a lot of fire! Ladies and gentlemen, we got a badass over here! Oh, he's huge, too! And of course, no healing bullets. Let's see if we can finish him off with my nice DPS pistols here. Come on! Oh, oh God! I had like one or two hits left on him there. So close! Should have kept an eye out of my health. It's my bad! It's my bad for not keeping a closer eye on my health. But oh, dude, that guy was a badass! Luckily, we're pretty close by. Think he's just thirsty? I, I don't. I don't think I've ever gotten so thirsty that I breathe fire, but I imagine it's the thing that could happen. Give him some water. Oh, I'll give him some water. In the form of bullets! Alright, let's try this again. Round two, you big ugly bastard. Let's dance. What do you got? I mean, I know what he's got. It isn't good for me anyway. There's a lot of damage with those melee attacks. Let's not get in the way of those again if we can avoid it. Which I imagine is the idea, avoiding them. We almost got him! We got him! That was much easier that time. And he had the ring on him right there, it looks like. Oh, oh that's disgusting. On him? No, it was that was that was in him. God damn it. Oh hey, there's another lore note here too. Let's grab that world we're in here. <laughs> LTG, good quote. Call of the Nameless. Oh, it's just the intro one. But still, more lore. Always happy about that. All right, assemble the, the rings in the nearby brazier. Yeah, assemble them by laying them out in the correct pattern. What's the correct pattern, though? Um, oh, oh, no, no, they mentioned it. They mentioned it in the quest description, didn't they? They said something about how to lay them out in there. Air is its head, fire is its tail. Air at the top, fire... I'm going to have to write this down. <laughs> but we got a puzzle. We're going to work our way through it here. 
I have my pen and my notepad. Where did you dig the ring from? You don't want to know, Bob. You don't want to know. So we got air at the top. Fire at the bottom. And then we have... Let's see, water sits at the bottom of the belly, so maybe above fire? And then they don't mention the last one. Air, fire, water. Hmm. That's not good. Uh, let's see what we got then. Let's see what do we got here? Air. So air goes at the top. Then let's try Earth, since that was the only one that wasn't mentioned. Then Water. And then Fire. Band of Solomon's Dominion. Ooh, that sounds badass. I like that. In the form of bullets. <laughs> That's a good one right there, LTG. Quick access inventory updated. That is a cool looking ring. I want one. Oh, it's badass. All right, what are we doing next then? Deliver the combined rings to a mirror. Oh, yeah. Maybe a mirror would like some jewelry. Some incredibly powerful arcade. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, those earthquakes are getting real nasty here, folks. That is scary. Amir! Amir, I got something you might want. Bribery. Oh, wretched child of the dirt. You offer the insult of bribery to a scion of the smokeless flame. No, it was bribery. It was... This petty bauble is made even more repugnant by your monkey's touch. Oh, Amir, it was... Remove your shabby self from my sight. My only currency is suffering. Oh, Amir, no, the it was... suffering of the artanist cult. It was a gift. Damn it. Amir! <laughs> <sighs> oh well. He wants me to kill some botanists. We can do that. God damn it. Keep it till the mirror to get his own. That was the only reason I was getting it. It was a cool ring though, and he didn't. He didn't. He didn't care for my gift. Senpai rejected me. God damn it. A mirror. God damn it, a mirror. I was trying to be nice. Come to you bearing gifts, a pretty ring. I spent so much trouble putting it together, and then nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah, Ziri, you mentioned you had that big earthquake. I'm glad nothing got damaged, though. That would have been scary. <sighs> One ring to rule them all. If only. No, apparently I need more. Can I get through this door here? Possibly. I just want to use it as a shortcut. No, no shortcut for me. You can I take the other route then? Yeah, let's take the other route. Looks like that's the way I'm intended to go anyway. Invite him to a housewarming party? No! Amir does not strike me as the party type. Amir strikes me as the burn everyone down while being cranky about it type. Aw, per derpy! I can imagine Derpy getting a little scared at that. Poor baby. Oh good, I got aggroed in there. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to run. I just want to run. Get me the hell out of here. Oh, get out of here. Take you on. You solo, that should be fine. There we go. Oh, right. There's where we're going up there. 
The cat doesn't care about anything LTG. Sometimes those types of cats can be kind of cute too. Alright, I got 21 AP, so that'll let me get the bombardment ability here. So then all that's left is to save up 40 AP for the shotgun capstone. Hell yes! Making moves here, ladies and gentlemen. Love to sit on your mouse! Oh my goodness! Sit at your filthy boat while she's using it. Oh my goodness. When I was a kid, I used to have a, uh... I used to have a, a cat with my family. And I remember the first time I got Star Fox 64. Uh, hello? I don't know that they're hot nest over here. Do I have to go inside the portal? I hope I don't have to go inside the portal, but I might. I don't know, I'm gonna look around a little bit first, and then we'll see if I have to go inside the portal. But yeah, the when I first got Star Fox 64, I was playing it on the floor, and the cat, for some reason, decided to start attacking the controller. And the cat just sort of dove on the controller, and like, dug her claws into the floor, or dug his claws into the floor, into the carpet, so I couldn't pull the controller out from under him. And I'm like, no, no, I'm in the middle of a game, don't do this cat! Cat did this though. Does not move if comfy. No cat does. It's the truth. I don't see any otnists around here, so I think we might have to go into the big scary hell portal. Oh, that's not a thing I want. Oh no! We did find a couple of the bastards. Good. Good. We'll take them down first and foremost. Not ruling out that they're going to force me into a big scary hell portal, but for right now I don't have to. The Vessel of Otten's Dreams. That's scary. Oh, and we can capture him. Oh, no! Dang it! Oh, it was a trap! It was a trap! Come back here, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'm going to kill the hell out of this guy when I catch him. Oh, he waits for you every morning, LTG. That's adorable. Oh, there he is. Oh, he was hiding! Dude, Dick tried to ambush me! I'm gonna kill the crap out of this dude! I now capture him! There we go. Alright, so this guy, this guy is gonna be my prisoner to take to a mirror. Alright, we can do that. Although, of course, we have to go through here, which is full of terrifying enemies. So I'll have to take these guys down if my prisoner is going to remain safe. Which, you know, unfortunately we have to keep him safe for a little while. Oh, these big guys are super badass though. You know, for normal enemies anyway. Alright, good, he's down. Alright, come on you son of a bitch. Or go into a mirror. Defend him from- oh no, mummies! Of course, you try and escort a guy through one box canyon, and what do you get? You get mummies. It never fails. There we go. Come on, you bastard. We got places to go. Keep clearing a path as well as I can. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be a bit of a hike right here. Always with the mummies. Here's a gaming question. With E3 coming ultra soon, what surprise do you want to see? Surprise? LTG, I'm going to go into the deep darkness of possibilities for E3. I'm gonna say Beyond Good and Evil 2. That'd be a nice E3 surprise. It's not gonna happen, but I'll take it. How about you, LTG? What would, what would you be excited about to see at E3 that, uh... You're not, you're not sure it would be kind of a long shot, maybe? What would be a cool surprise? I'm trying to think of what else would uh, set my uh, set my heart aflame there. I'm sure there's some other games that are in uh, limbo right now I'd love to see just all of a sudden say, Oh my god, we made so much progress on them. I suppose if there's anything to show for the new Werewolf the Apocalypse game, that'd be neat. But I don't think they're far enough along in development to have anything to show. I'm not counting on that. 
Ah, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Broke free. He made a break for it. Oh, you little douche! Oh, I'm not playing around now. No, 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 no. No, now we get very violent. I have to kill these mummers too. Oh, this, this, dear, this guy. I'd say this guy is going to be the death of me, but oh no. I very much promise you, Chad, I'm going to be the death of him if I can help it. You get up, we are marching. Alright, Bloodborne 2, there's a good one. Yeah, you keep your heads down. This is no longer a fun little road trip, dude. No, no, this is getting bad now. Let's see, Sega having a major presence? That could be very interesting. A couple of ways they could go with that. Soccer Wars return? Ooh, that'd be cool. I could see that. That doesn't seem too implausible, LTG. Jet Set Radio. That one feels like a long shot, but I'd be pretty excited for that one. So let's keep fingers crossed for that. Last of Us Part 2. Ooh. I know they're working on that. I think that's plausible. They could uh, potentially have something to show at E3 this year. Definitely keep an eye out for that one. I know my biggest disappointment for E3 is that... Uh, the people working on Darksiders 3 announced they aren't going to be at E3 at all. That kind of broke my heart. So we're going to have to wait for uh, Gamescom to hear anything from them. Cinema! Fight for your rights, that's adorable. I am lost in purgatory, and the only thing I have to light my way are these fickle candles. How I loathe you, child of the dirt. But there stands something I loathe a hair's breadth more, and I am reduced to an existence of inches and degrees. Such sweet music they make. You felt the ground tremble. You wish to know what could fill the earth with such rage. Fallen. Broken. The jinn were cast out of paradise into the howling. We languished through the fathomless gulfs of time until only we and the nine houses of the Oni recalled when we were glorious. The lesser demon kind fell to cannibalism. The jinn walled ourselves up in a forbidden city of heated brass. There, I served as the Caliph of Embers, lord of a nobility you could not even understand to bow to. So I invite you, child of the dirt, to consider the sightless depths of my resentment when Akhenaten summoned and bound me with elder rites. To serve a talking monkey. Worse, to serve one aligned with the filth and a dreaming sun-eater. Pinioned by my honor and the old rules, I performed task after vile task. It is written. As for the perverse, they will be firewood in hell. I'm not gonna mourn now. You. My more degenerate siblings are corrupted, made to serve the Artanists through debased rituals of summoning and binding. Study and understand these rituals, and your monkey mind will gain the slightest inkling of an understanding of our Titan hate. All right, always a pleasure talking when to you, Amir. Cast from Gaia's sight. I cried out to the dark. I asked, how long? And the silence answered, forever. All right. Ooh, new title unlocked, The Warden, badass. People have searched for the treasures of Solomon for time out of mind. There are a plethora of lost baubles floating around in the sands. Now, that does not mean that every false trinket is necessarily mundane. We just tend to attribute more things to Solomon than any one man could have accomplished. Alright. 
And yeah, I, I agree with you, Tomlinson. That is a big, big one right there. Anything, anything that could break this horrible stalemate with uh, GPUs being unaffordable would be a dream. An absolute dream. And Legacy of Kane, that would be a big deal, but unfortunately that seems like a, a very long shot. Still, if it happened, that be it would be a nice surprise, I agree. Alright. Twelve for my spare shotgun right there, that's good. Uh, this one, which one had the glyph on it I was leveling up? This one. With that, get the crit Critical and power results. With a crit, excellent. Yeah, Amir has had a bad life. All of the jinns had a bad life. They kind of tried to wipe. Uh, they kind of tried to wipe out all of humanity, and it didn't end well for them. So uh, he's basically just angry all the time now. Which, to be very clear, not a healthy way to live your life. But Amir gonna do what Amir gotta do. Right, and lastly, can we get this up to 20? Yes, we can. Critical empowerment results. Crit, badass. Alright. Ooh. Spoilers and achievement names, that's kinda dumb. That is unfortunate. Oh, if you are interested in God of War anyway, do not read the trophy list. Oh, spoilers, that is pretty terrible. Being filled with rage all the time, not healthy. What? Shane, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of want to continue with this quest, but with the shutdown, the server shutdown coming, I think we are going to have to wrap this up while we do have a good stopping place, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry, I was looking forward to going a little long tonight, but that does not look like that's going to happen, so let me go ahead and wrap that up here. Well, we've still got a nice place to stop and while everything seems to be going well for us, so folks, if you haven't already hit follow, make sure to do that so you get notified when I go live next, which should be tomorrow, and we are going to be continuing and possibly even finishing uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline, so I hope you stop in for that. And so, who do we got in here right now? Tominson, Samus, LTG, Zero, Broken Crow, and anyone else that might be lurking in the background. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow and the rest of the week if you can't make it then. Bob Shane is leaving. Sorry, Bob. But don't worry. If you want to hang on for just a second, and I hope you will, you will be finding another wonderful streamer to hand you over to. John Big Booty, thank you for the lurk as always. Good to see you in there. So let me just see who is live, and then we will see where we are going after this. And, ooh, I think I see where we're going. And also, Zero's throwing some links in chat. Feel free to check those out. We got a link to my Twitter, we got a link to my YouTube with an archive of all my videos, and we got a link to my Discord, which is the easiest way to get a hold of me outside of chat and a good way to check in on some cool stuff we do, like movie nights. So feel free to look into that, please. And on that note, for everyone right here wondering where we are going, we are going to someone you may have seen peek in the chat before, and a very fun streamer by the name of uh, Relentant AB. He is right now playing Hollow Knight Blind, a very difficult game, and a game I'm never going to attempt myself, so this will be a good chance for you to check it out if you haven't already, and check out Relentant. So come over, say hi, throw him a follow if you like what he's doing. But if that doesn't interest you or you got other things to do, I will go ahead and say as I always do. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. And I will see you around. Take care of yourself, folks.